Good evening, everybody, and how we doing? And welcome to the Ride Share Garage. I am uh, one of many, Vinny, because um, next to me, I did have Vinny of Miami, better known as Nick of South Beach, uh, but I think he just got camera shot. I don't know what happened. A little per performance anxiety already this morning. I don't know what to tell you. We just got on. He brew, brew, brew. Anyway, <laughs> and below him, I got Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar, how we doing today, brother? Uh, trying to find some consistency. It was a good weekend last weekend, but then it's just been kind of this week. So, Okay, okay. Mr. Nick, how you doing over there, buddy? I, I, I hear you're going to have one hell of a story for us tonight. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm doing all right. Another all day, right. another day in paradise. There you go. All right. Well, we are going to start with, um, and so, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Accounting Tom is joining what us. <laughs> What's going on, gentlemen? How all doing? the way from Tampa. Buddy, What's how up? are you? I'm all right, brother. I had to, I had to hurry up and get here because I had went to the gym. And then, oh, uh, look at you. Yeah. yeah. Getting all Since swole that, over there. No, I'm just, no, I'm just walking there. for now. <laughs> I got to <laughs> take baby steps. I ain't trying to tear nothing. <laughs> Bro, good move. Yeah. When I started last year with the walking and the, and the exercise and the resistance bands and the weights, and I fucking wound up in a goddamn hospital with a heart attack. Yeah. Nope. I'm like, nope. I'm taking it step by walking. <laughs> We'll get to the weights in a month or so. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> right. No. So, uh, side note, um, I'm sorry I didn't catch up with you Saturday night. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's, for y'all that don't know, I went to Tampa. I went to, to Thomas's yep. Market uh, yep. Saturday. I, I was there for family, uh, my yep. granddaughter's birthday party. But I did turn on the app while I was there. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, I until you're in there, in that situation, you really don't know how you're going to react to it. Remember, that's one thing I always say. And what blew me away was the goddamn hockey pucks. <laughs> the freaking hockey pucks. Like, <laughs> I, don't, let me, I thought I had a screenshot of it. Let me see if I got a screenshot of it. Yeah. But, dude, no, I, I don't have a screenshot of it. But. It's amazing when you look at a, 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 a you open up the app and where Omar, you and I will see surge, right? They just get a little red Uber sign. That's it. And the more <laughs> and the more red it is, mm -hmm. I guess that means more surge. Right. But you don't know because they don't tell you. And yeah. when you get a request, it just tells you surge. It doesn't tell you how much. Nope. <laughs> it is. It is it's Tampa. trash. Bro, bro. And here's the odd part about that, Thomas. Mm -hmm. When I drove across when I drove across Alligator Alley, mm -hmm. for y'all that don't know, I'm on the east side of South Florida. Correct. Thomas mm -hmm. is on the west, the west side. side of Florida, <laughs> which means I gotta drive 260 miles to get to Thomas Place. Right. right. <laughs> and but when I go to Naples, I get the hockey puck and the great clouds. Yeah. Once Train. I hit a stair, yeah, yeah, but once I hit a stero Fort Myers, yeah. I get surge, I get surge again. Yeah, you get the price. <laughs> right. And then as soon as I hit Tampa, yep, back to man, the hockey pucks. <laughs> back to the hockey puck. Bro, it was killing me, bro. Killing it's me. Terrible. <laughs> killing me. And like I said, I, I would have done some work. Um, these guys know on the radio. I I I I uh I had the apps on while I was charging the whole time. I had the apps on, nothing was coming through. Um and like I told you, you knew what you 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 have an idea where I was. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like forty minutes away to get to the business, so right. I just I just decided to come back home Saturday night. I didn't want to stay, so and turned out to be the right move. Yeah, I had a three I had a three hundred and forty dollars Sunday. Nice. So it wound, yeah, so it wound up being the right move. Uh, mm -hmm. Real quick, let me say good good day to everybody. We got commuter in the chat. I see Buddha's got a new name, Tesla Ride Chronicles. I like that. Shit. Nice. <laughs> that is a name. Do this something about. else. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, who else we got here? We got Ryan. Ryan, what's going on, my brother? Melvin, Mr. San Antonio. Uh-oh. See, this is what I don't understand, bro. We got to hire Melvin. We got to hire Melvin to go to Austin and teach Eddie how to do rideshare. 
Wow. Five rides. Jesus. In the test stand. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. A GoFundMe or an OnlyFans or something like that to, you know, and get Eddie off the pole. We got to get Eddie off the pole and into driving again. Uh, Kevin, Kevin's up from Lakeland, Florida. What's going on, my brother? How are you? Always, always good to see you. Israel has joined us in the house. There you go. Okay, guys, so we're going to start the show with something, and it's not for everybody. But if you drove, if you drove an EV last year or this year for Uber, you got this message today. Dear so-and-so, we have adjusted your earnings for certain electric vehicle trips that you took between 2022 and 2023, and you have received an additional payment that can be viewed. You can view this transaction in the earnings sections of your Uber app. Mm. So if you got your EV short money today, that, it, it, you know what? It was pretty goddamn good. Now, yes, it was. me... I got twenty-four dollars. Right. Because the only thing they gave, paid me for was for the two weeks I rented through Hertz. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm not sure what happened. But I know that um I, I know that Sergio uh had a lot to do with this. He and, and the other gentleman uh they they discovered this discrepancy and they went to war, and here we are. So everybody out there needs to give a shout out to, to Sergio. From the right chair guy, because yes, Sergio put in he put in the work. He put in that work and got us his money. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you uh the biggest one that I've seen, the biggest payout I've seen already. Okay, and that would be this. Hold on. Something screwed up here. This is the biggest payout I've seen so far. And this is one of our guys. If you look here, other earnings, <laughs> he got $1,496.45 back. That, that is the biggest ant that we know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> wow. If somebody got more than this back, I would love to know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but could you imagine? You could you imagine waking up and all of a sudden you just get a fifteen hundred dollar payday? Right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be like, "Fuck this! I ain't going to work today. I'm, I'm going to the, <laughs> I'm going to the titty bar. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go make it rain. I'm gonna go make it rain <laughs> on Uber. This is Uber, yeah. Uber, girl. I'll take you're, it. That's you're, Uber money. you're describing someone else because that's not you. Right. No, this is not me. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't no. stupid. No, you take but, that uh, money, yeah. you go to the car wash and clean your car. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> you ain't lying. You're right back in the car. Next. You're right back in the car. <laughs> but that's damn good money, bro. That's yes, damn good sir. money. That's damn good money. Now, I don't know about those 14 and a half hours online for 259 and 22 trips. That's a little, uh, that's a little suspect, but, you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and I'm sure Eddie will be here soon. This was from Eddie. He, he emailed me this shortly with us so i wanted to i wanted to bring that up and nick did you not also uh you got a little ev money today didn't you buddy you don't have to say how much it is but even you got a little piece right yes i did i got uh well i didn't get as big as eddie but i got 200 bucks nice okay mm -hmm. and then you got melvin melvin saying he picked up 150 so, you know what? Like I say, man, big shout out to Sergio, man, over at the right chair guy, you know? Yep. Big shout out, man. He he got something done. Doing and, guys' and work. <laughs> yeah, but, but here's I, the thing. Go ahead. Go ahead, Omar. No, it's fair. Go ahead. I was just going to say, isn't it convenient that after their earnings and all-time highs, allegedly, uh, you can speak freely, brother. It's First Amendment yeah. here. Speak up on it. Oh, I don't want us to get sued for false allegations. <laughs> oh, I'm not <laughs> saying it. You're saying it. You're going to want to fucking do it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It just seems like really convenient timing. So, but what do I know? I don't drive any of these. Well, I, I would say. I just, um, I just watch Uber stock price go up every day. 
you know, and that that's something that I want to get into uh, in a few. We are going to get into that whole thing. I'm hoping Sergio will be with us by that point because I want him to explain to everybody that's joining us tonight exactly what is going on with Uber. It's not. I don't think it's it's. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it affects us any either way. But I want him to explain uh, stock buybacks and why Uber is doing it now since they are finally profitable. So that's something I want to leave to Sergio because he can explain it better than I can. Yep. Uh, a couple more people in the uh, oh, uh, Buddha's Buddha, rideshare chronicles. What am I going to call this fool now? What are we going to call him? California fool. Listen, what am I going to call? Just, him? just call him Buddha. <laughs> clapped out the CEO of the Clapped Out Tesla Association. Okay. <laughs> Three, $330. That's good. People's getting paid, bro. People are getting paid. I'm trying to catch up with the comments here. Because as you can tell, Stephen hasn't made it here yet because right. he took a ride today. Yeah, he took a ride today. And uh, all right, Fritz got his bread today. Sweet. Mm. Uh, isn't there a big fire in Texas today? Yes. Uh, Eddie okay? <laughs> yeah, Eddie's fine. Texas yeah. is big, bro. Yeah. Where That's was the fire at? I think it's in the panhandle. Of Oklahoma and Texas. It's way up there. Oh, oh, so, oh, okay. They probably blew up something. Okay. Uh, Lamont, my man Lamont, Delaware, if I remember correct. Delaware. Uh, Uber called me to ask why I haven't been driving. I'd love hmm. to know what you told them. <laughs> well, yeah. That's, that's suspect them. because when did they call you? Well, I mean, it's not like we can call them. Right. <laughs> listen That's there was awesome. a time when i wasn't driving much there was a time when i wasn't driving much where uh i got a phone call from uber mm -hmm. i was i didn't drive for like a month or so and they were like hey everything okay what's going on yeah bitch everything's okay i'm making money without you leave me the fuck alone click anyway so we'll see how that does um so i yeah I think it's good. Hopefully, everybody who drove the EVs back then, they're, they're making some money with it. But I, I got to bring I gotta bring this up. And, and some of you guys already know about this ride. And I'm going to give you my opinion on it. And y'all can, can go with it from there. Lyft did me dirty last week. They uh -oh. did me really dirty last week. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, Lyft did me dirty last fucking week. Okay. So... Here's a ride. It was a lift black ride. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was, you can, let's see, does this have a timestamp on it? 537. I was mm -hmm. just coming back from this area. Right. This was a pickup at the mall. This was a pickup at the mall. And where it says here, M Melaleuca Isles, that's where the ride was going. From where I dropped off to where I was going is one mile. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I get there. I pick up the young lady, Flanagan's. I went ahead and, and she says, no, I wanna, uh, I'm going to have you drop me off here. I'm like, okay, I ain't think nothing of it. I drop her off, right? And as you can see here, the original estimated time was 20 minutes and 7.8 miles. Okay. The ride took, the ride, all this time combined, everything combined was 16 minutes and six miles. My original upfront pay was supposed to be $17.14. Okay. <laughs> These motherfuckers paid me $7.57. <laughs> for, Whoa. okay. For, for, it's four minutes. For four minutes. Okay, we'll say two miles. We'll give them two miles. They cut my pay by 50%. Yeah. Actually, that's more like that's more like 60%. Yeah, what the fuck is that about? <laughs> right? Look, I, I want everybody to see that shit now. I know Weezoom, Kyle, from Gig With It, posted a <laughs> cut where he lost like, I think it was like $20 or something on like an $80 ride or something. Oh. But this is more than half. Right. <laughs> so I went down I went down the hole. You know, you guys know I went down the hole. Yep. <laughs> went down the hole with Uber support. Oh boy, <laughs> with lift support. <laughs> yep, and you can see here. Hi, Vincent. Thank you so much. Blah 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 blah. I'm glad to help you with your concern. No worries. I know this is urgent for you. Blah blah blah. Bro, I pulled over. Yeah, and and, and parked. <laughs> shut off you. both apps. I pulled over. Shut off both apps to make sure 
I can have this conversation. Asked me who the writer was. I told him. Uh, got it. Thank you. I'll go ahead and check. Okay. Thank you. By the way, look at the timestamps. How all, how long all this shit takes? I send them a <laughs> I send them a, a, a thing at seven twenty seven. They get back seven twenty nine. So it wasn't terrible in the timing. Right then, I don't hear from the bitch for another six minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you. Just letting you know that I'm still here. Right now, we're now we're nine minutes. Thanks for patiently waiting, Vincent. Upon checking here at my end, the reason the cost, and I really want you guys to pay attention to this next page. The reason why the cost was less is because, uh, nope, not that one. Hold on. Yeah, that's it. I looked up, I looked into your writing and can confirm that the earnings are correct. Since there were unexpected changes for this trip, your earnings were adjusted. If the ride is significantly shorter, two miles, Mm -hmm. than expected, we will adjust your earnings. This can happen when your trip details are changed or drop off point is removed. They don't ever tell you this shit up front. Mm -mm. We will calculate your ride based on time and distance using your standard rate card if this happens. And that's what I want everybody to pay attention to. All right. <clears throat> Fellas, chat, we don't have a rate card anymore. No. <laughs> In any way, shape, or form, do we have a rate card anymore? No. <laughs> Yet their AI, you know you know, I'm talking to a computer here, right? Right. You know they ain't no real person. It's a fucking yeah. computer. We will calculate your ride based on time and distance. If you have any more questions, right? And of course I did. Right. I responded, not by over 50%. The trip was one mile less, and you take 50% of the agreed upon price. Y'all got to remember, man, when we do ride share and a ride comes through, it is a legal binding contract. Uh, Yep. It's locked. This is a contract, and every single ride is its own contract. Nobody explains this to anybody. Mm -mm. You are not obligated to accept the terms of a contract. When you decline a ride, you are declining the terms of that contract. Until you accept the terms of that contract, TOS don't mean shit because you're not binded by a contract. Right. Mm -hmm. So we agreed on a set price. Mm -hmm. I did my job. Right. Mm -hmm. I did my job. So pay me my money. And they, yeah. So I said, that's bad business and how you lose good drivers. Uh, and she said, oh, I see, Vincent. But you see what I see here at my end is that you have ended the ride, not on the set destination. She can't, and they spelled that wrong, by the way. Get some. Can we get some people that can spell? Right. I got a hood ass education from Carroll City High School. And I can spell, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Uh, that was set by the rider because the rider wanted to go there, so I dropped her at the destination. That is why, again, it doesn't make sense to argue with these people because you're not arguing with people. You're arguing with a computer. Mm-hmm. We all know this. But I had to say this. Um, if I didn't go through all of this, I wouldn't have the evidence to when they talk on, how is it my fault and 50% of the fare less? We don't work on time and distance. It's up front. And so it, that is okay, Vincent. That is a ride recalculated. Again, they just give me bullshit. No, mm-hmm. you didn't help at all. And so I kind of, I kind of let it go. And I had an opportunity. I, I did. And I'll tell you something. I actually reached out to Sergio. Mm-hmm. And then I thought about it. Right? He said, yes, yeah, send it to me. I'll, I'll look into it. And I said, you know what? The guy's got bigger fish to fry. I, right? I, we know. We, look, I get my money. I get my money. And I'm not going to worry about it. But you guys got to understand. My suggestion is if you get a pro- contract, if you get a ride, and that ride says, I'm going to pay you $20 to go X amount of miles, I don't give a fuck where you drop the, the passenger off if they go short. You're right. Continue mm-hmm. to the destination and finish the ride, or else you're going to get hosed on your ride. That's my suggestion. Mm-hmm. That's my suggestion. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but yeah, exactly. I got, I got uh, ride baited. <laughs> so, I'm just curious about what you guys think about that. No, I I think well, I had a situation like that a couple of years ago. Hell, I I tweeted them. <laughs> I tweeted Lyft. 
and was like, yo, this is terrible. You're screwing up my ride and everything else. And I mean, I had the same run around on the app. And then I went on Twitter and bashed them. And eventually they contact me on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> You know, you know, but uh, you, everybody has to know as a ride share driver, man, your time is really money. You cannot be playing with it. <laughs> if you saying upfront fare, because trust me, they do it the other way around as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So I'm like, wait a minute. Even if the trip would have went a mile and a half over, they'd have been like, nope, $17. That's what we offered you. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what they do. Yeah. So <laughs> like like today, right? I went out for a couple of hours this, this evening, right? This afternoon, this evening. Mm -hmm. And I got a nice Lux Black ride, right? It was eleven dollars to go a couple miles, like ten minutes. Yeah. Um, but then they said, Hey, we like you. Do you mind if we walk? We're gonna go to a hotel. Do you mind if we go in there and get our bags and then I'll add a stop back to the airport? I'm like, Yeah, no problem. Hell Lux yeah. Black ride. yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go. Do this. Shit, worked out great. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. And so so then the price jumped up, right? It went from eleven to, to twenty nine fifty. So, you know, that, that worked in my favor. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that one worked in my I still think it was a little shy though on the money. I, I really okay. do. I think it was a little shy on the money time wise. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Uh I suspect mm -hmm. the, that these apps recalculating these adjusted rides using entirely new dynamic pricing. I believe it. But for them to come back and say, for them to come back and say, well, we recalculated the ride based on time and distance. We don't have time and distance. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's, it's just uh, their AI is fucked. It's like it's like Google and Gemini, bro. It's all all done. All done. All right. Uh, Vito says, I had to pivot this week. I don't take any rides that aren't going from LAX or going to or close to LAX. All those other rides going in any other direction, I have officially left them for Sergio. My man said, if it ain't an airport run, I ain't doing it. That's what that is, Hey, that's how I usually start. <laughs> right? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I mean, because it, it can get um, like that sometimes. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, uh, you know. Fritz, I don't know what the packs paid. I have to I have to go back and dig into the system, but to be honest with you, I don't even want to bother with it. No. They think they got over. David Richard can choke on that ten fucking dollars. Right. And I'll tell you something else. You know, and, and I, I shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I'm me and I don't give a fuck. Um right. <laughs> you know, he ha he runs a nonprofit program for reading. He needs to start a nonprofit program to teach these motherfuckers how to add math. Right. The math ain't mathing. <laughs> Mm -mm. The math ain't math. <laughs> you understand? And right. so he's making he's making plenty of money right now. Right? As, mm -hmm. as, as the as the as the CEO of this company, he is making plenty of money. His options prices are going through the roof oh, yeah. at the expense of drivers. Same thing with Dar. Dar's the same way. We're yep. gonna get into a little bit of that later. But right now, guys, I want to bring up uh, I'm I'm gonna have Nick come on and talk to us a little bit. Nick, Nick, you've been a bad boy, Nick. <laughs> Nick, you've been a bad boy, Nick. I don't know what to say about uh, you, brother. I, you know, I, I, but I'm. I don't a, know what you talking the, about. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I will say this. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Nick tell y'all what happened to him during this past week, and mm. I'll just say that uh, Nick, I thought you handled it pretty goddamn good, bro. So mm. go ahead, buddy show is yours <laughs> so um uh so the guys on the radio kind of know um like like Vinny just said i try to tell everybody that we are independent contractors so every ride you have the choice of whether you decide to take that passenger or you decide to cancel on that passenger mm -hmm. and i obviously forfeit that offer because it's an offer it's a request you know so a lot of times I get passengers that I don't necessarily want to take and I will very much counsel the ride. <laughs> and, you know, because I know, you know, we all know that the market is saturated. So it's not a it's not a dig to that passenger because, you know, it's probably somebody around the corner, you know, 
that'll that'll more than happily take that person, but it's just not me. <laughs> so I had a passenger, uh, let's see, this was Sunday, Sunday night, uh, around 7, 7.30. So I had this passenger. She comes up to the car. And, you know, if you're a driver, you know this. First, the passenger does this. So my license plate, you guys know I, I ran through drive whip. So the car is um, registered for Maryland. So in Maryland, you have to have your front license plate. You have to have a front license plate, mm -hmm. a back license plate. So this passenger does this. You know, you kind of see her. She walks up. She looks at the front of my car. She puts her phone. Yeah, okay. Then she goes to the back of my car. She does this again. Okay, yeah. Then she gets in the car. Then she opens the door. Of course, the door is unlocked because, you know. No, well, I should say first she flagged me down. She told me to park here because the street that we were on, it's, it's like I had to park in her driveway. So she first, first and foremost, she flagged me down. Then she's checking my license plate, which, okay, you want to be safe, whatever. You already know that I'm here. You know that I'm the driver. But, okay, you want to be safe. Then she opens the door. Um, because, of course, the door is unlocked. Who would have the door unlocked unless I'm your driver? But, you know, again, th these are all the leading steps. So she opens the door. Hey, what's your name? I say, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> so, she says, no, you need to tell me your name. I say, <laughs> that's not how that works. No, I don't. <laughs> that's not how that works. Mm -mm. Exactly what exactly what Thomas just said. That's not, that's how, not that how that works. works. I need to know who you are. She says, "Oh, this is stranger danger. I'm going to report you." I say, "You're going to report me for what?" <laughs> I'm still joking because, like, I'm like, this is just like funny to me because, like, what are you going to report me for? What did I do? She's like, yeah, I'm going to report you because you won't tell me your name. I said, no, you can see my name in the app. <laughs> right. You knew that I'm your driver. Right. Like, I'm I'm more so joking. Like, mm -hmm. no, I'm. this is stranger danger, and this is an unsafe ride, and I'm going to report you. Wow. So whatever. She, she shuts the door. She slams the door, actually. You know, it's a Tesla. You know what I'm saying? So I'm feeling some type of way, but whatever. <laughs> I'm, you know, it's a lady. I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. So I'm now because of that interaction and how, like, it just escalated when I'm just, like, kind of joking. And I said it with a smile, you know, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> she runs, she runs off. So now I'm like, okay, let me notify Uber because it's a weird interaction, whatever. I'm just going to let Uber know. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want any blowback from this situation. All right, hold, like, hold that, you know, hold that, hold that for one second. To me, that was your best move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, I've done that myself. If I Get felt like first. I had just a hundred mm -hmm. percent, he who's first to market usually wins. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and so, yeah. a, a tip for y'all out there is, like he just said, he felt some kind of way. He felt like something was going to come back at him, so he reached out to Uber support. Just to have it on record. Okay, go ahead, Nick. Yep, just to have it on record that, hey, I had a problem with this passenger. The ride was canceled. I felt like, I mean, she said that I wasn't the person. There's no way that she felt that when she verified everything else. <laughs> she looked at my profile picture. I, I look like my profile picture, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I'm, she opened the door, like, you know, so I, I put this all in the message while I'm trying to type this message to Uber support. She comes back out with her husband. And again, now if she felt unsafe, she came back out with her husband to then approach me again. They knock on my window. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, 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 I just want to, I want everybody to know I have met Nick. I have seen Nick. <laughs> Nick is the size of three Omars. <laughs> Nick, Nick is no little dude, bro. Mm -mm. Nick, Nick could be the starting running back for the New York Jets and plow <laughs> people. I'm just saying. I, I'm not saying that in a bad way. That's a good, when I tell you, 
My man is swole. I'm just okay. Go ahead, Nick. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, so if they felt for their life, they wouldn't come knock on my window, and not like it's not like you know like a nice little knock. No, they really came up and like banged <laughs> on my window. And so I opened it up because the first time I looked at them and I was just like, let me not say nothing. I got back into my phone. So now they're like banging on my window and it's like, okay. <sighs> okay. So I roll it down slightly. You know, I just put it down just a little bit so that, you know, because now I don't know what they're going to do. And you want to know what the whole point of his knocking on the window was? What up? <laughs> my wife says she canceled the ride because you weren't the person. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. License tag matches, car matches, picture <laughs> matches, name matches, but you're not the person. <laughs> bruh, bruh, I got to ask a question. Y'all ain't going to ask this question, but I got to ask this question. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I hope you're not gonna ask me. I, I am gonna ask this question. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna. Where was you, what, bro? Were you in? A, uh, oh, I can't ask the question, bro. Oh, I will ask the question later, though. I got to know I, now, I was, bro. I'll put it to you like this: If anybody knows Miami, you know mm -hmm. some of the nicer areas. And you've ever heard of uh, <laughs> Coral Gables, right? That—that uh, that was the area that I was in. Should have hit that bitch with racism. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'd be suing the shit out the motherfuckers right now. But go ahead. So, so you know, whatever he says that I, I don't know. I, I I didn't really get the point, but I'm pissed off now. And like I almost got out of the car because it's like, okay, what are you trying to say? Like, <laughs> like, are you trying to intimidate me now? Or like, I don't know. My mind went to the wrong places, and I was just like, okay, I just said okay, you know. So my wife, so my wife canceled the ride because you're not the person, and I responded okay, and then I rolled my window up. <laughs> like talk to the head, bitch. Oh shit! Like, and I can hear her. Like, you know, once I rolled the window up. Now the Tesla is good as far as like noise cancellation, but I still heard this. Oh well, he needs to get. He needs to go because he. I was just like, yo, like. And after that, I blocked it out. But I can hear the girl. Like, she basically amped him up to potentially get into a bad situation. <laughs> so, a message to everybody else. If your woman is putting you in, a, in harm's way, Ooh, you boy. may not want to listen to that. Because if I would have got out of that car, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> Maybe not the way that okay. I am. Because... Yeah, I just your phone at the, I just slipped your phone at the stockade, man. I know a couple of them COs down there. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> you'd, you'd have been on. You'd have been on tonight. You'd been in the Dade County and, Correctional Facility. You'd have been. In, you'd have been in that, I... in that orange jumpsuit. That orange jumpsuit. <laughs> and, and, and instead of your name being Nick, it'd have been three one three six eight eight. Right. But we got your back. <laughs> yeah. See. So, okay. you know, I sent the message. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to send this message to support. They go in. I pull off. Whatever. Um, now I'm like, I'm in a bad head space. I don't want to get into a, I don't want to get into a situation with another passenger because of that. Because, you know, we got to, you know, every passenger is different. You want to yes. try to keep a clear head. Now mm -hmm. the next passenger gets in. I'm taking it out on them. That's not good. Or I'm driving aggressively <laughs> you know what I'm saying it so it comes I'm speed like, racer. hey listen because I drive you guys know I drive well the people on the radio know I drive a little bit differently when there's not a passenger in my car that's right <laughs> <laughs> I subscribe to <laughs> I mean so, 
We know. <laughs> hey, where you at, Nick? Oh, I'm on South Beach. Ten minutes later. <laughs> Greetings from Delray Beach. <laughs> and, and for y'all that don't know, mm-hmm. Delray Beach is an hour and a half north of South Beach, but he did it in ten minutes. All right. Hey, I'm in a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, a flying Tesla. Right. The Model 3. This is why I prefer the Model 3 over the Y. You know, but we'll get into that conversation the other day. So, um, so yeah, I went home. I'm like, I'm not in a good space, whatever. I cut the, cut the apps off. I go home. I woke up later that night because I'm like, man, you know, I'm hearing the guys on the radio still kind of surging. It was a good night. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm going to get back on. <laughs> mm-hmm. No message from Uber. They still haven't reached back to me after I, I, they said that thinks. So when you submit a report, they say thinks will be in touch. That is the screenshot that you see. I have still today have not received a message back from the thinks will be in touch after I submitted the report. But on that Sunday morning, well, I guess that's Monday morning. On that Monday morning, I say 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. When I tried to go online, I pressed the go online button, the little blue button that we all know. It did a little circle, and it said red. It said error. And then the next thing under it, it said, um, and I probably should have sent you the screenshots before we came online. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But it just said that your account is at risk for deactivation. Um, because, and the, the big message was that one or more, um, Uber has received one or more, um, responses to interaction that you had with a passenger. Um, and it was against our community guidelines. So we're performing an investigation. That's basically what it's, that's basically the summer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what, I, I guess the reason why I wanted to tell everybody this is because I still haven't received a message saying that I was deactivated, haven't received a message that I was reactivated, haven't received any messages from Uber. I just couldn't go online at that point. Mm. (laughs) So so how long did they have you locked offline? Uh, For two days. So 48 hours you were locked offline with no message from them stating you were deactivated or reactivated. Nope. And it was just pure, I just woke up um, Wednesday morning. I mean, Wednesday morning. <laughs> I just woke up, uh, wait, was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was yesterday. I'm sorry, I said two days. It was, I can't remember if it was yesterday or today. But I woke up, um, I woke up in the morning, click, you know, click the little go online button. Right. And it let me through. That was, that was wow. like, that was my way of knowing that I was reactivated. Damn. Wow. <laughs> And I still have the message on my screen. You know, I have to review some items. It still says the same exact thing. It's just now I'm able to go online mm-hmm. as opposed to then. It, it's like, you know, all right. Well, real quick, Kevin Kwan, thank you, sir, for the shout out. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Paying my surge since y'all make the last hour of my shift fly by. Well, sir. We are so glad we are making you laugh because you think I'm funny, huh? You think I'm fucking funny like a clown, huh? Like a fucking right. clown, you think I'm funny, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, soundboard's not working. Thank you, Black. I mean, Stephen, for that one, I did not know. I'm telling you, before we even started tonight, I was having a problem with my headphones. There's something goofy going on here. I don't know if it's my sound. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, also, I want to bring to the show uh, uh, Eddie. Eddie is here. We're going to go back on something for him in a minute. I didn't, but I wanted Nick to to talk about that story. What do you guys think about that? Like, do you guys have an opinion on how Uber handled that? Because I think wow. Nick did everything right. Right. I really do. Mm-hmm. Well, if, if he got reactivated, like, shortly after, I thought that was a good call by Uber, given that, you know, Maybe they investigate it and they, probably the guy couldn't even provide any evidence. And he probably, they probably look at your rating and said, this guy's got a good rating. Usually people get shut off, right? And then that's it. You're done. No. <laughs> no your rating don't mean shit. People get shut off with good rating. Well, I'm just saying that maybe they changed that. 
you know, because so, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Remember, you, you usually with Uber and Lyft, well, with Uber, you know, the client is always right. Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, listen, it, uh, apparently they thought she was right because they locked him out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think they did. They do. Or you just got that knee jerk response from the company and then they figure it out later. It was yeah, do you think, right do you next- think that? You think that when the people complain, it, they go it goes to the 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 I don't speak English um, people, and then <laughs> they basically they, they write it in there and they automatically just block, you know they close they uh, uh, they stop the account and then they look at it. But that's the only way they can tell that they need to look into it. I mean, it could be it could be an automatic trigger, you know, in the system. Yeah, but I, I think the disappointing part is that they just they never told them it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was just like, it was just like, hey, we got a report on you, blah 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 blah. You're at risk of deactivation, and they didn't say. But in the meantime, you know, we're going to suspend but, your account. But then it, it only took it. It was only two days, right? And then you yeah. know, reactivated. Yeah. Me, mine was uh, actually I got deactivated twice, and the first time was a couple. Of, no, the first time was almost. Was it two months there, Vinny? Mm-hmm. Man, if I remember, it was two months. Yeah. Um, and then the second time was like for a couple of weeks. So sucks. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. So, all right. Well, Nick, I'm glad you're back online. I think you handled it the right way. You yep. didn't get confrontational. And that's probably what saved your ass. Yep. Sometimes you got to suck salt and walk away, bro. And nobody now. I got to be honest with you, the husband coming out and banging back on on the window, you know, I mean, that's that's like, you know what they say, bro, never run up on somebody, man. You Dude. just don't know what kind of day they're having. And oh, if goodness. I remember correct, you had a rough fucking day that day. <laughs> <laughs> what, what time was that, Nick? What time was that? It was at 7.30. And it was what? It was a Saturday, 7.30? Sunday. Sunday, 7.30. Yeah, that, that where, was where, where, was she, yo, where, where was she going? I don't um I think she was going to Miami Beach. Hmm. I think so. Uh Big Pod Correct. Big Boss Podcast says, I don't mind telling my name for an alone female. Yeah, that's fine. I but I did you hear the context of the story? Right. See, there's <laughs> there's always that context to the story. All and right. so we can't discredit that when she's looking at a picture of his ass. Uh, well, not his ass, his face. <laughs> she can see his face on the app. Right. So now, for me, proper she, etiquette for the person to come and ask if I'm the right. Ask my name. <laughs> ask right. my name or introduce yourself. Either way, I'm gonna. If I say the wrong name, then don't get in my car. It's that simple. <laughs> I always tell people, let me see the, uh, let me see your app, so I can see the tag. Yeah, why and, do we even have to play this game? You show me your yeah. app, I'll show you my app. No? Right. Okay. <laughs> well, you see my license plate. You see my face. You have the picture on your phone. All right. And am I, I your driver? I, am I your driver? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> and, right. and you know Steven's like this on his, on, his, on his Uber app, right? You know how Steven looks on the Uber app, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's terrifying, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. See, you know, you know, I've had a couple of those, and um, they give me an attitude. Like today, I canceled one. It was a five dollar ride, whatever. But I'm turning around because I'm in the middle of traffic. Five dollar oh. ride, Eddie. <clears throat> it was a local one. It was just like it, it wasn't even a mile. Um, the trip. That's it wasn't even a mile. So anyway, so they, they give me a call, and, and it was like, yeah, hey, just wondering if uh, um, if you come up, come pick you up. I see that you're not moving, and I'm like, um, there's something called traffic. That I'm stuck, uh-huh. right? He's like, "Oh, just wandering." He's like, "I know you've been sitting there for for like five minutes." I was like, "Well, the, the, there's something called the traffic that I'm, I'm sitting in, right?" She's like, "Well, are you gonna be coming?" And I'm like, "All right, uh, all right, yes, I'm on my way. I am on my way. I'm gonna be right there. Okay, I uh, just stay put. Okay." Hung up the phone. 
cancel. Not to stay, not to stay put. Nah, you nah, did not nah, tell nah. us to stay put. <laughs> I'm glad you canceled, Eddie. I was starting to believe no, that you were no, actually no, going to go pick her. up. I was really starting to believe that you were going to pick her up in that. Because no, because the thing is, they're right. They're right behind me. Thank you. They're right behind me. So I got to turn around and canceling. canceling. You did the right thing. You did the right thing by canceling. I honestly thought the story was going to be. I got there. Pull over and make them walk to you. Oh yeah, no. No hell no. Hell no. They're going to give you a bad rating anyway. Exactly. No, man. Listen, five minute, five minute trip, and you and you texted me like, "Where are you?" The the conversation no, it's a, it's that's, a, that's a, as far it's as the a, conversation goes with me. With me, that's as far as the conversation goes. <laughs> Next, you know, I'm like, hey, you know what? And then I was done. For keep messaging me at, at a major event where you see all these cars packed back to back. Right. I, I, mean, can't, right I, I get, I get, I get the Harry Potter. Potter. Like, yeah, Harry yeah, Potter I'm coming. Yeah, I'm still on my way. Bro, people be tripping, man. Kidding me? She wanted you to roll up Aladdin style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a magic carpet ride. Right. <laughs> uh, I, I, before we before we get off this subject, I I I I just feel like I gotta respond to the boss podcast. I get it, but the app asks writers to confirm the plate and driver. And you have a picture of the driver on your fucking telephone. And you've and got you the, plate the plate on the back of your car. Your car. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyway, <laughs> she told me. Anyway, I'm not even going to go. Park here. here. It's too, it's too, she said you literally here. can hey, walk behind the car in front here. of the car. Well, in California, you. literally can walk to the front or back of the car and see the license plate. Right. Yeah. I'm the highway is like that, car. too. <laughs> it, SB rides is straight up. Once that crazy shit yeah. starts, there's no happy ending. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why I can't talk. I'll say this. I'll just say I'll say one thing because I'm like whatever about this topic. Uh, sometimes it might be better if it's possible to just lower your window, because the thing that's weird, Nick, for me is that she got in the car. That's the thing that's that's yeah. fucking me up is that she got in the she car. She was sitting in the back seat. Yeah, that's she the thing. That, the that, that's the thing that's right really right. bugging me right now because I Door if you cold. sit down. Like uh, it's rare for me to even for that for for like it to be all crossed up at that point. Oh wait, you're not you're not Jan or whatever it is. You're not you're not Jen. Oh shit, we got a problem here. Like, yep. So yep. what I do just to just to give you the frame of it. So before I even got to her, my windows were already down. Okay. Know? My windows are down. My hazard lights was on. She flagged me. Hey, come park right here. You know, so she knew that I was her driver. I mean, it, it's hard to, but, you know, and this is where, you, mm. you, you know, I'm not going to say it, but, you know, you got to, it's just extra. Some people want to be extra, and it's okay. You know, yeah. I was more so joking. I didn't have a problem with confirming my name. Like, I thought, like, okay, yeah, <laughs> you say your name, I'll say my name type of thing, but she didn't take it that way. Yeah, it's just that there's a lack of common sense, too, because... She was expecting you. She flagged you down. Mm-hmm. How, how is that? Okay, I guess it is possible if you were using someone else's account and you have the oh, app on California. your phone. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of reaching, though. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, tr- I'm trying to get there, but like, I don't know, the whole thing is just weird. It, it's as bad as it sounds. <laughs> and, I, and, and, I, and I just think to myself, sometimes this is what happens, man, on these lower platforms, although it was comfort, which is a little strange. Usually this would be on UberX, like Eddie's $5 rides. We got to talk about that, Eddie. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> SB, <laughs> SB Rides already I'm said it. You've got to carry They're giving X rides <laughs> are going, they're moving them up to XL rides. That was an XL yeah. ride. How I know, how I know that there are X rides is because when I get there and the timer starts, it's not a five minute timer. It's a minute thirty second timer. I know it's an X ride. <clears throat> I think um, it was a point six mile trip. I was just picking them up and dropping them off right down the road. You know, yeah. I feel like that's that that's the how all these stories start. It was a short trip that was going right down the road. But the being with a night here for some odd reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Diasen says, uh, if anyone in text or on the phone displays any anger or aggression, I just cancel immediately. Yep. And it's true. That is the, I, I you know. have to, yeah. you have to, because, because we're all we trying come. to get home at night, man. Yeah. We're all trying to yep. get home at night. You know, just because like they don't know. Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, one of them complains and that's it. They close your account. That's it. You know, I, Nick, I think, I think Nick got lucky to be honest. 
I think he got you lucky. Think, that uh, I, I think I think they changed it. I think they might have changed it. No, I, I think they it's, did I, the I investigation, and they looked at it and they was like, "No, ma'am, that was actually your driver." <laughs> Let's put it to the test. Let's put it to the test. Who's got an excellent rating? I would Come say on. that. Who's got an excellent rating? Just go up to a customer, smack them, and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me you know tell you're you. talking to Omar, right? You know you're talking to Omar, right? The temptation. <laughs> the temptation. Let me tell you, down here. Speaking. And, speaking it, of and, it, and it don't matter. Lost in black. That's just an ex-passenger with money. It don't matter. I want to smack, smack the... Out of a lot of these people. Oh, uh, that's mine. And I'm not a violent person. I'm probably the least violent person on this panel, man. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> these people be really. <laughs> so I, I'm bringing this back up. We've already talked about it. But Eddie. Congratulations, Good brother. Good money, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Money, you see that? Buddy. You see Good that? Money. I don't, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. King and Eddie. Off. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll talk it off the live because um, there, there's something fishy about this oh uh, but yeah um a whole bunch of uh, my buddies here in uh in austin got this bonus got a big bonus it, especially it, if you it's drive not a, a, it's uh, not a bonus it's not a bonus well, this is money that was owed to us this is money Supposedly. that was owed to us right correct yeah sure, sure. i mean now the, <laughs> the 22 trips for 259 dollars in 14 and a half hours is a little suspect but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> no, no, we're going to no, no. focus on the fifteen hundred dollars. No, listen, I think that's that's loans. working smarter, not harder. It means he's that. No, no, no. Uh, on, on the bottom, on the bottom, it says right there are other earnings, which is uh fourteen ninety six. That's what I got. Yes, that's all we care about. Yep. Yeah. And correct. Seventy dollars. Wait a minute. And seventy dollars. Hey, bro, you getting tipped out pretty good there, man. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. My uh, services are quite remarkable. Oh shit. Oh, I'll be laughing. At, <laughs> be oh, laughing at boy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Man, oh, my God. The, the, the conversations we could have right now, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going <laughs> to oh, fucking boy. do Services it. Services is yeah. good. But see, this is what... Uh, Mm -hmm. But this is what uh, this is what Uber said. We have adjusted your earnings for certain electric and vehicle trips that you took between 2020 through, uh, 2022 and 2023. <laughs> and you have received an additional payment. Yes, uh, that's the same message we all got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 2022, 2023. Just... Eddie, Eddie's next that video title. I made three thousand dollars in one week. How's your, how's your back? How's yeah. your back, Eddie? That was uh, that was 2021, 2022. Yeah. So, uh, and I know, uh, I know, some other people in the chat have, have uh, shouted out. They got some money too. Like I say. Big shout out to Sergio for that. Uh, yep. Sergio and God damn it, I got to remember the other guy's name. Was it Pablo Gomez? Was that the guy's I name? Know. I can't remember. I think that was his name. I, if I got the name wrong, I apologize, y'all. I, I ain't trying to be uh, trying to De be that. Bad. Definitely, definitely not. I'm not gonna be like, oh, my next video is gonna be, oh, I made three thousand dollars, you know, in one week. It's like, no, I can't do that. Can't. Do All right, that. Uh, people are gonna call uh, me out. BS. No, your Mario! next video. Your next video is going to be my services are working really well. <laughs> He's like, just take a just just don't, don't look at the eighteen hundred. Just look at the seventy dollars. Click on this link and click on this link. And I'll show bucks. you how you how your services can be working really oh, well. Oh, just click oh, on this link. Over OnlyFans link down below. Yeah. You want to create yeah. your own OnlyFans yeah. page? I have a five dollar ebook for that too. But the that's right. You get a discount. By the way, so everybody in here is a subscriber. <laughs> Mar Mario Mateo, my man Mario, who I can't ever catch up with. I still got these goddamn Tesla mats in my damn car. All right, that payment saved my butt today. Mario, mine was four hundred and twenty bucks. That's a suspicious number. And I thought somebody gave me a crazy tip. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, bro. I, I that four twenty though. Okay, that's that's kind of an odd number. And I wanted to get Mario. God damn it, Nick, this your fault. I was supposed to take Mario because <laughs> I wanted Mario on the show tonight. <laughs> I wanted him. You know what, Mario? Wait a minute. Seriously, Wait a Mario. Minute. Mario, if we can next week, I really want to get you on the show. And the reason why is because I want you to talk about your latest video with all the problems you had with the Hertz rental. I Ooh. think it's a very valid yes. story hmm. that needs to be told. So, I, and if you don't mind, Mario, if you don't mind, 
I'm going to repost that video on my community page for my YouTube channel, and hopefully we can get you a few more views on that. Yeah. Because there's a lot of good stuff in that video, man. Like, there, there's, there's, as they say, there are nuggets and gems and Easter eggs. Mm. So, Mario, you let mm. me know, bro. Uh, <laughs> we cannot, hey. we cannot let this slide. Nick, Dan, <laughs> Nick, Nick was the poor guy was was shadow deactivated, and you saying it's his fault? Nah, man, I ain't letting that. Who slide. said that? Who said that? You Who said, said it, was it was Nick's Who fault. Said? You just said that. You said, "Oh, it's Nick's fault." Hasn't the guy been doing enough? Deactivated? No, it was Nick's enough? fault that he forgot about Mario. Yeah, hasn't <laughs> he been, been doing enough? enough? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Nick brought it up. Yeah. Asked me if I had seen the video. After we discussed it, and I said, "Yeah, I saw the video the other day." And he's gonna double down. I need to text. I need to text Mario and see if I can get him on the show tonight. <laughs> And then what happened? And I said, shit, if I forget, Nick, remind me. You know you can going drop to... the link in the chat and invite him in. Oh, yeah, but I don't know. He might be working right now, bro. Mm -hmm. By the oh. way, guys. This hey, is, you this working, is... Mario? You want to jump in? Look, oh, we all hustlers here. Hey, Fritz says, when I got my EV money, I couldn't hit cash out fast. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. Give my money, bitch. Give my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. What do you fuckers change their mind? I know, right? Tomorrow, everyone's going to get an email. Right. There was a system glitch yesterday. <laughs> and we had... It's in my bank account. Now. Then there's going to be a real strike. <laughs> All right, Mar Mario, Mario, as soon as you get home, once you get home, if you're up for it, get, send me a text. I'll send you a link. You can come on your computer. It, it's actually, it's not that hard, bro. I send you a link, and it'll automatically take care of you. No, but I don't want you to. That... He said it says what? he wouldn't even accept the charge. He had 8% battery. God. Bro, the, the video was crazy. It, the video was nuts. Uh, Bear um, Claws, I don't necessarily uh, – Unfortunately, apps do not allow crazy tips. I, I don't cap. agree with this. No, it's, it's not, not capped. It's not that it's capped, it's clapped. That's what the problem is, okay? <laughs> well, I mean, they can they can get they can pay you a tip up to what is it, two times the amount of the ride? Yeah. I thought one so of them was it, 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 it could only be uh, as high as half the fare. No, 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 no. I get double no, no, no. I've, I've been doubled out times. a couple of times already. I've been doubled out a couple times? of times on rides. Well, shit, fuck, man, I can't remember, but yeah, man, I, I get good tips, bro. I ain't like Eddie. I, you know, I give the tips. You know what's sad? Well, I mean, I that, I what's sad is that we're all you guys, drivers. You guys see that whole that went on fire in Austin? We're all drivers. We don't use the app, and we don't even know how much we can get tipped. Like, man, that's a big L on all of us. God, that, is, that is a big L. I need to find it out right no, now. No. Yeah. I know because the I had a passenger that tried to do it. So, like, the ride was, like, $40 or something. And they were like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna tip you a hundred dollars," and the app wouldn't let me, wouldn't let them do a hundred dollars. Mm. So I think it, it is like there is a cap, and I think it is uh, double because I think it's double like, whatever the ride time, is, yeah. right? Every time you go over double, hate little bastards. Now, Nick, <laughs> I wonder if they give it back Nick, to the client. You, you, my, Nick, I know you finessed that hundred. <laughs> okay, so for Uber, it says, "Oh, this is." <laughs> the Uber tipping limit is two hundred percent of the total, up to a hundred dollars. Oh, up to a hundred dollars. Okay, not hundred dollars. Um, that shit wasn't like that. That's that is that, that, like that, 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 like I said. That's some mm -hmm. clapped out shit, bro. It, yeah, that's some bullshit. <laughs> yep. And then, and then the tip, and then and I feel and I feel like the higher the tip, that's the longer it takes to show up because you know it's got to go through the Uber washing machine and then you know. Okay. Right. It says, says lifts in app tips. Can't we got to launder that money. <laughs> can't be more than $50 or 200% of the ride cost. Wait a minute. Say that again. It says lifts in app tips can't be more than $50 or 200% of the ride's cost. That's some bullshit, man. Yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, that Wait a minute. Yeah, because I've gotten I've got more than $50. That's never before. been like that. Yeah, you know what? That's true because I, I did get like an $80 yeah. tip. Please mm -hmm. yeah, I've on, gotten on I've gotten above fifty dollar tips on, and this, on was, this was and this was recently. Homeboy was like, "Here you go, boom." Oh yeah, or two hundred percent, or 
so I, I don't I guess the lower limits the 50 it says or 200 percent of the ride cost so if your okay. ride was so if your ride was worth more than that you able to get it from that garbage it's still garbage. limiting you whether you yeah God <laughs> that's garbage <laughs> all right so so real quick I want I want to do a couple of couple of quick shout outs here sure. uh, we're gonna start with our official sponsor of the rideshare garage and everybody's channel is just gig it gig with it.com <laughs> y'all know kyle kyle is the man we are doing our thing um he is putting together our shirts for the uh june end of june right Share garage rally the big meetup in austin texas remember we're doing it for charity and to have a good time and and i have been told personally personally that melvin's going to show up and teach eddie how to do something right here in austin because we all know Melvin's doing two hundred twenty dollars and four five trips. <laughs> so we we we, we got to help him out here. We got to help him out here. All right. Yeah. Other than that, hundred thousand. Everybody and I do want to get into this conversation tonight. Eddie has a hundred thousand dollar a year book. I can tell you, I have seen his numbers. I promise you, his five dollar ebook will make you a better driver. Um, he has made the money. I've seen it. All the accounting mm -hmm. did the money. I mean, his math, math. His <laughs> yes. Math. The other guy that the other guy's talking about, I don't know about that math. Right. But anyway, I wanted to bring all that up and get all that out the way. And and uh, there'll be a link in the description later. Uh, if you are looking for a rental car in certain markets, um, I know in Colorado there's Test Driver. We're going to send you over there to um, the Driven Dad. I uh, was hoping he'd be here tonight. I haven't seen a video yet. He's got some pretty good news, bro. He got some really good news, and uh, mm. I am looking forward to that announcement because mm. I am very happy for that man. He is a good, hardworking dude, man. Yes, good family sir. man. And he got, and he don't know how to pull out. That's why he's got six of them. Tony, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's the goddamn truth. <laughs> Tied his shit in the knot. Tied in the knot. All right? Tied in the knot. Be done. Give Miss Lisa a break. Okay, there you go. He's a freaky-ass um, driver. And also, uh, two, of, two of us on the panel here, two of us on the panel, Mr. Nick, and myself, we both rent our cars through Drive Whip. Um, it's not the easiest platform to get on. It's not the easiest platform to communicate with. But once you're in, you're it's in. Lessons. It's up to you to lose it. And uh, mm -hmm. I have had zero. I personally have had zero issues with Drive Whip since I picked up my car. Okay. I will put that link in the I've description my, below. Go ahead, Nick. I've had my car since August. And we are now in March. God dang and it. As long as I keep paying my invoices, I won't have any problems for the next, you know, for the foreseeable, foreseeable future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's it. So I want I wanted to get that out the way. All right, guys. I have a new segment. Okay. I asked you guys earlier about this. I got a new segment. We're gonna start. We're gonna call this segment because everybody's doing this kind of segment, but we're gonna call ours a little different. Okay. We're going to call it, we're going to call it, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> okay. We're going to call it, what the hell is wrong with you? And we're going to start with this one here. Here's a trip that came through. This was a, this, now, I don't know if you guys know on your Lyft app, okay? On your Lyft app, if you're driving, and all of a sudden you see a little ride come up with a little mm -hmm. price on it. That is a wait and save ride. That is not a normal. They request in the ride goes. It's a wait and save ride. Oh. Mm. This was a wait and save ride that I saw when I was driving. Obviously, it's a regular lift ride. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forget the nine minutes and two miles that you got to go pick them up. <laughs> right. Just the other one. It's the other one. Fucking four hours. <laughs> four hours, 38 minutes, 218 miles. One way. That's just one way. Mm -mm. Now, in case you guys don't know, in case y'all don't know, let me introduce you to the Everglades. Because they all of this shit right here, you see all this right here? Mm -hmm. see all this, there? this is a swamp, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is a swamp. And it's real alligators and shit out there. But you know what the alligators don't need? They don't need a ride. Mm -hmm. So when you're coming back, and this was a nighttime, right? This was at 6 o'clock in the evening. So you yeah. accept this trip, you get up there, 11 o'clock, 11.15, because you know whoever you're driving, they're going to have to take a piss. They don't want to stretch their legs, right? 
And then you got to come all the way back. And brother, I'm telling you, sis, you're not getting a ride back at mm -hmm. one o'clock in the morning. No. Nope. Orlando, all the way back down to Fort Lauderdale. So guys. Maybe at a strip is, club. Maybe. Well, <laughs> yeah, but not all the way back here. But not all the way back. <laughs> so here's the question. Would you take this ride? No. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing the radar is not going to work either. It won't let you put a, a pin all the way back. Oh no, you can do that, but it, it remember right? Um, well, because for example, their destination if I put a filters pin, only last like fifteen minutes or twenty minutes. That's right? true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because for example, mm -hmm. if I put a pin from uh, here to Coachella, sometimes the pin doesn't work, so it's, you, you can only do it halfway or something like that. Well, and so and just so everybody has an understanding, once you get south of the two lakes here, mm -hmm. this is the turnpike split in the state. There ain't shit there. There ain't mm -hmm. nothing here until you get back over here to this part here. So this whole section in here, you can hang up. You got that's about an hour and a half, and you ain't getting shit. <laughs> you ain't getting shit. You just you just burning miles. Plus, okay. you didn't, yeah, you're not even getting paid for the fuel. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you drive and if you drive an EV, you're gonna have to stop and charge. Yeah. So four that's and a half a hours. Four and a half hours. So Limit okay, done. we all agree on that one. All right, here's yep. another one that I just peeled off of. Uh, I peeled this one off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I peeled this one off. This one was on Twitter. I don't know who the young lady is. I think it was a young lady. Name was Kelly, I believe. Right? But I'm just, I'm just curious. Nine. Twenty six dollars, which includes it includes the expected tip. Three hours, 27 minutes, and nine <laughs> stops. Nine I'm packages. God damn. <laughs> yeah. I want to know how the hell That's New Jay is making $3,000 a week in Arizona on some shit like this. Right. And if y'all don't know who New Jay is, New Jay, bro, he is a $3,000, $2,500 to $3,000 aunt, as, as, as Omar would call him. And he is killing mm. it in the Phoenix market right now. Absolutely mm. smoking it. Nope. You guys can join the Discord if somebody wants to put up the Discord link. Y'all mm. can go in there and y'all can talk to New Jay, pick his brain. Um, the dude, the dude's a beast. He mm. does it with a. I think he's got what a Model Y now. You can't talk to New Jay because he's always fucking working. Seriously, yeah. He's not, he's Seriously, not, he's not, <laughs> you can leave him a message. He'll get back to you. Yeah, yeah. He just yeah. Just now. keep bugging him in the chat. He'll he'll respond eventually. Please. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here so, we go. Uh, I, so guys, that, what do you guys think? What do you guys that think? That look like drop drops off a V ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your V ho, your V ho, I sent it to Eddie. I showed it to Eddie. Yeah. Your V ho yeah. in Tampa pays phenomenal yeah. compared to other markets. Yeah. Nick was doing V ho too, I think, for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, the Vho was insane was this past weekend. I was like, "Holy shit!" Vho, those, those, the Vho that you were getting, that's like what? That's like 80, 80, 60, 70, somewhere around there for yeah, the same look, for the same trips. Yeah, for the, for the same for the same type of uh, 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 deliveries. Yeah, they were like that's forty dollars an hour. <laughs> so, but it was was that random or does it? Do you get those all the time? No, that was just I had just checked back on the app and just was just just hit the refresh and all the all the pricing and all the, the all the different pricing for the different areas in Tampa popped up. And I was like, oh shit, they giving away money right now. <laughs> I was like oh, speaking of that, I need to upload my information. Yeah. yeah all no, all okay. I'm saying is there is no way in anybody's hell, mm -mm. heaven or earth. I would accept that trip. Mm -mm. Nah, somebody did. That but somebody did. Dumbest, that is the dumbest somebody shit did. I've ever yes. seen. And and so you know, and I know it's getting tough on the food delivery folks because they're, you know, dollar fifty and two dollar base pays, and then they just found out what was that? Uh, DoorDash turned out today. Uh, when did they have earnings, Omar? Because they still aren't making a profit. Uh, last week. Last week, and they're still not making a profit. But they do five million freaking orders every quarter, and they right. are whatever their number is, some <laughs> stupid, some ignorant number. Anyway, so if y'all got any dumbass ride requests, 
please send them to one of us <laughs> on the panel so we can talk about them. Because some of these people, they've lost their goddamn minds, man. Anyway. All right. Uh, next part of the show. Well, I guess now is the time when we ask. How's everybody doing, man? How's, how's everybody doing in their markets? Y'all making uh, money? Y'all not making money? Y'all working on other projects? What are we doing? Uh, I'm working on another projects and stuff, but I heard something over the radio as I was doing my research on this other project. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to do this within the year or so, but uh, usually this is something you and Eddie would talk about in the afternoons. Uh, oh, Wendy's. Stop, stop, stop. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. I got to tell you something, Eddie. You ain't going to like it. I've been getting cussed out since we stopped the damn afternoon shows. <laughs> Now, oh, really? Your your ass might not be getting cussed out, <laughs> but I'm getting cussed out like big fucking time. So I don't know about you over there, sunshine. <laughs> right. But I'm about tired of getting cussed out, <laughs> and I, we might have to. I don't know. Maybe maybe two days a week. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, we can we 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 can we can work something. I, I really want to get this uh, day trading thing. Uh, and and I respect that. You're I right. get that. Yeah, I get so, it. You know, you know might have to might have to change it to this way. Uh, this way. For, this this, this is why I did it because I I said, hey, I said, wouldn't it be cool if be like, hey, man, I'm doing ride share, but I'm making no money and I'm about to lose everything. I was like, you know what? Go up over here to a private channel, all right, and see if we can work something out. You know, and be like, hey, do this, do this. Right. I, I, Okay, I just wanted to, uh, Thomas, please continue. Okay. Because I know where you're going with this. Yes. And I can't wait yeah. to respond. I tweeted that. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I did too, about 12 times. Go ahead. Like, I heard that on the radio and I was like, what? You heard what? Wait, no, no, no. What'd you hear? Wendy's are planning on doing dynamic pricing. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, Omar oh, agrees with it. Omar <laughs> agrees with the shit. Man, they want to put surge pricing on a fucking double stack. Yeah. Burgers really? going up between one and four. Oh, <laughs> 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 ah, shit. I said, what? <laughs> really? Who is so doing they're using this? surge pricing and reaping big profits as Wendy plans Dude. fluctuating. And that's, and that's the fucking problem. That's the fucking problem. Mm -hmm. Right there it says Desperate it. For right? Stop eating Wendy's. Big profits. And reaping mm -hmm. big profits. You know how many yeah. families got fucked when McDonald's took away their dollar menu? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not even joking about yeah, that the, shit. These places are forgetting their place in people's lives. They come to them for their cheap, decent, quick food. Yep. Food's mm -hmm. getting smaller and smaller, oh, and then yeah. they're changing the prices on people. Like yeah. you expect, them. all of a sudden their their income just became extravagant, and and their rent isn't Dude. going up, even though their income's not. Like Dude. New York <laughs> Big Mac, eighteen dollars. <laughs> uh, that well, you know what? I, I don't and, eat and, it's so. and, it's so. and it's not just Wendy's; it's quite a uh, they say so, uh, a few other mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. The customers, you know. customers may pay an extra one, two, one dollar, two dollars for a ten dollar item, according to a blog post on their mm -hmm. website. Twenty percent doing lunch. Yeah, there that's is. crazy. Well, I know why they're doing it because some of these states are getting, uh, they're getting the notion that they be like, hey, this inflation is getting out of control. People are doing desperate shit <laughs> to get no, stuff done. Just freaking fast food. That's what they're doing. Everybody's Dude, but, trying I mean, to eat healthier. Yeah, you, it, you would think that would help, but every every as they say, every action has a reason. Yeah, California's Positive effect. California's minimum wage on April first for restaurant workers is going to twenty. <laughs> <You know? laughs> In and out, start <laughs> shutting down. We ain't oh, yeah. gonna we 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 be hearing about Steven. We ain't gonna be right. hearing about Steven and these. Steven and gonna be like market. 112 soaking wet. 
He's gonna be he, yeah. Steve, Steven, Steven's gonna be like, up. Oh, I got I got a job at McDonald's, y'all. Don't laugh. Oh, you need to be the it's paying like, eight hundred paying eight hundred like, a week. I'm, I'm like, out Steven, of here. that shirt too big for you, bro. <laughs> 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 what <are> you <laughs> but yeah. you know what? That's a real problem, though. It's a real yeah. problem. <laughs> because um like i don't do mcdonald's i haven't done mcdonald's about 15 years um i very rarely do burger king unless i'm being really lazy and it's right there mm. right because burger king just i don't it ain't no taste ain't ain't no taste man it, this is not it real good meat food. bro mm. uh, yeah that's Nobody the knows where the hell the meat comes from uh, that's true that's especially true. mcdonald's Oh, that they, they do a study on one of the burgers at McDonald's one time. They couldn't even find out what kind of where the meat actually came from because it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, it exist. wasn't meat. No, it wasn't meat. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it, was it, it was. It was nowhere. It, it didn't exist and nowhere on earth. They didn't know where the hell the meat came from. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta put the. We gotta put our food through a lie detector test. Hey, are you a burger? <laughs> <laughs> right. So no, yeah, no <laughs> but, but I gotta admit, I, I as a big man. listen, I, I gotta admit, <laughs> Wendy's has been my go-to, right? Because they're open till three, four in the morning. Mm-hmm. So if we have one of those late nights where I'm, you know, where I'm out till one, two in the morning, yes, sir, I'll slide through there and grab a couple double stacks. Or before I start my day, where I normally start my day, I got a Wendy's there and I got a Polo Tropical, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. so either I want the bigger meal, the rice and chicken. Or I want a couple double stacks and a small fry. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. They cost the same. But yep. now, yeah. but now <laughs> me and the redhead are done. <laughs> right. I'm done with the redhead. I'm, I'm done with the redhead. And then not, uh, messing with, not messing with the redhead no more. Yeah. With the redhead. And then yeah. McDonald's trying to rebrand with this cosmics bullshit they doing. They only got one restaurant in Illinois that has that and that'll be start popping up in the next two years they come like what the fuck is cosmics i'm like it's mcdonald's dummy look at the arts jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> they do oh, rebrands really? they may have automated food yeah. i have no idea what these people oh are so like ghost kitchens and whatnot right yeah. you know <laughs> we got a we got a supermarket here at hev and it's got like Ooh. robots all over the place yeah um, they got no idea same. what the hell they do so, but you know, hmm. anyway, well, this is what we talk about the pivot. Cosmic. You know, replacements are coming. Cosmic. Oh, the mic is going to be well, our replacement. Nick <laughs> is already doing All right, Mario. I mean, Mario has reached home. He's gonna he's gonna send me something so I can get him on the so I can get him on the show. Finally, man, our right. guy Mario. But go ahead. Listen, What's up, when, Omar? When product, if product costs X, and I cannot afford X. A shop mm-hmm. somewhere else, right or wrong. Well, that's somewhere what I do. Else. Company, Some company other. now, company is now doing Z. Mm-hmm. I have always done Y. Mm-hmm. Hey, okay. Mario, up, I will go find another company that is doing Y. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I mean, but Omar, where? Yeah. This is these are traditionally fast food places. Fast I, food places. No, so I, I don't. I, I, we'll get into a whole deep conversation. And I kind of want to just don't want to do that. I'll just say this. In the same way that no one's entitled to my labor when they get into my vehicle. Right. They're not entitled to the labor of these people at these, mm-hmm. uh, well, at these restaurants or these companies. They can do what they want. Oh, where is it in the Constitution that fast food is going to be cheap? <laughs> Tell exactly. me. Where, where, where is everyone here, all of us, me, me included, where is my right to come to any fast food restaurant and say it has to be dollar menu? Maybe that was no, what the premise was. Right. Uh, maybe all that's I'm what, saying is, I'm that hoping your companies fall apart time, because was, we're making these decisions. At the time, that was the premise. Hey, we'll, we'll be, that's what's different about us versus going to a sitting down restaurant. Right. Maybe it's not that anymore. Maybe they are adopting a new premise. Okay. I'm a dollar I mean, store. I became a dollar store. I'm with that new premise. In the ghetto. <laughs> no, by right. the way, by the way, you know who else pisses off a lot of people? The Lord's Chicken. Who? It pisses people wow. off that they're not open on Sunday, but they oh. stick to their principles and they don't open on Sunday. And they're like the second most profitable chain out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're closed one day a week, 52 times a year. Right. I'm just saying. <laughs> that, that service is amazing, though. Yeah. 
Who am I? What Lenny is doing is risky. And if they're willing to live with the risk. But here's the here's the problem I got with that though, Omar. Here's the one problem I got with that. And you're right. Nobody has the right to tell them how to charge. Right. Hundred percent. You are a hundred percent correct. Mm -hmm. Right. But when it's greed, that's when consumers get pissed off. That's all I'm saying. Bro, Nobody we all tells drive me. for Uber and Lyft. I'm talking about greed. Stop. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but un but unlike you, the rest of us actually make money out there. So there's a big difference. You know, it's still oh, a big difference. Yeah. Any money on the app or off the app? Whatever you got to do, brother, I ain't mad at you. Hey, we all, we I, all hey, hustlers here. Hey, whatever you got to do, you make your money, man. I ain't never mad at anybody for getting paid, bro. I'm just saying. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. It's greed. So I tell you, and this is 100% correct, we speak with our wallets. Ask Bud Light. Ask, ask you know how they're doing? They're still in business. That's how they're doing. They're still oh, in yeah, business. Yeah, but yeah, you say they're still in business, but it's costing them. Oh, yeah. So much money now, to still be and, so and I'm not talking about the content of anything because there's a lot of things that all these companies do that I go, what? <laughs> I don't well, even drink Bud Light. I don't even drink Bud Light. I don't even drink beer. So <laughs> right. It, it don't matter to me. It bothers some people because they're sensitive. Whatever. I agree. Vote with your wallet. But guess what? Right. They're still in business. Show me a company that's out of business right now. Please. Uh, I just want really market capitalism works. Uh, there, Macy's will be there, next because they're shutting down 150 stores by the end of this year. Yeah, <laughs> and did Macy's yeah. put out any kind of weird advertising? No, they just no. got a business because retail is a dying thing. <laughs> okay, so uh, and, and and with that said, uh, I have to do this. Yes, uh, sir. Wawa can, Wawa can kiss my ass too. Uh -oh. <laughs> at least the one by, at least the oh, one by my what? house. At least the one by my what? house. What? Yeah, the one by okay. my house. Now I'm paying attention. On ninety fourth, on ninety fourth and commercial. Lately, uh -huh. lately after eight o'clock at night, they got no food. Half the menu items are gone. <laughs> oh, your store get ransacked. And the customer yeah. service in there has gotten horrible. <laughs> yeah, horrible. <laughs> so, guess what? I guess I'll be losing a little more weight, a little quicker. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> okay, so close to that fucking midnight. So I'm screwed. So, so, so Vinny, in, 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 in with that, if it's that, a, w, fuck you. So with that said, Vinny, you, you, the list, your list is getting longer and longer by the day, bro. It what is, are you going to do? It is. What are you going to drink? <laughs> what are you going to eat, man? I'm going to be under 200 pounds real quick. And, and right. My wife will leave me alone. <laughs> by the way, everybody, by the way, I finally got him on the goddamn show. It there is he Mr. is. Mario Mateo. Mario, Mario. We no, no, he's not muted. No, he's not. No. He's muted, like himself. Oh yeah, turn your he's setting. Uh, Check his setting. Technical difficulties. By the way, uh, somebody in the chat, I think it was Bear Claw, said, "I didn't know Macy's had 150 stores." <laughs> one time, yeah. Well, Macy's was big time, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what well, Macy's? Yeah, big time. Macy's now, season. now they don't even have a parade no more. No. So now what mm. you gonna do? Damn, that's a good point. What is it called now? Yeah. Uh -oh. well, parade, York, it could be. It yeah. could be called anything but a parade. You know. Yeah. Right. It could be right. a perp walk now, but oh, it ain't gonna be a perp walk because they don't put them on bail. Uh. So, all right, while Mario and, and, and Steven are getting all, all Mario squared away, bro, I, listen, it was, oh, Scott Robinson, what's going on, Scotty? Too hottie. My man had a record week a couple Whew. weeks ago. Proud I heard him, that. Bro. Another one? Proud I heard no, that. No, 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 bro. Just one. I Hold thought on. he was just. Don't, 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 count, don't count the kiss up money. You know, that count, everybody what? got today. No, nah, bro. He he clapped four thousand dollars a couple weeks a week ago. A couple weeks ago, he had a he had a record week. Yes. So oh, that, was that brings we were talking about last time. Okay. All right. So so here's a question. Everybody saw the article, right? Everybody everybody uh, saw the video last week, right? The video about the two hundred fifty thousand dollar man. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I have it, yeah, and yeah. I don't care. Two hundred and forty. I, I'm just I'm just curious at how everybody feels about it. We already know Omar don't care, so we'll put him in timeout real quick. <laughs> but I thought it was legitimate. Okay, 
So here, here's the question. Here's the question. If one guy can do it, if one guy can do it, then two guys can do it, correct? Yes. If one guy can get something done, and we're all dry, other than markets, and I understand, like, you know, Sun Valley, Idaho ain't going to pay what, you know, Miami, Florida pays. It ain't going to be that busy. I get that. But city to city, when you're comparing apples to apples, if one guy can get it, that means somebody else can get it too. Yeah. So I'm just, that's all I'm trying to do. That, that's all I'm asking. That's the question to the panel. I I saw the video. I thought it was a hell of an interview. Um, I know how hard Eddie worked mm -hmm. for that 150 and 180. I know oh, yeah. how hard he worked. I don't want to do it I know how hard he worked. And if he didn't break 2K. 200K. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard. I'm telling you. It's like, oh, yeah. You're working seven days a week, <clears throat> 12 hours plus every day. Um, you're hustling. Really, yeah. really, you're really hustling. But, you know, two years in a row, come on. I, I need to... I need, I need, Cut back, bro. Cut back. <laughs> so I, I'm not question. You know, I'm not questioning the driver. I'm not questioning. Obviously, I, I think Sergio mm -hmm. has the highest integrity. But no, Mario will be back. He's uh, he's adjusting his audio settings thanks to Steven. Steven's helping him out. Okay. Um, so, but what I'm telling I guess you is, go ahead, go ahead. Nick. My qu my question to everybody that says it's not possible, they actually showed they showed the earnings reports on Show Me the Money Club. That so, did you guys look at the earnings reports, the statements from Uber? They showed them. Do you think that he's just like, you know, he just edited those? Because I mean, we're we're kind of trusting Sergio's Sergio that he validated it, however he validated it. But you know, what I'm saying that that's what we're kind of trusting. He did provide earnings statements. He provided his profile. I trust. I trust Sergio. Because I, I don't think Sergio, it, you know, we don't always agree on everything, but he ain't he ain't out to hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I trust him, and he I don't think he would throw it up, <laughs> throw out a video or a blog if if the numbers weren't true to the best of his ability to vet the numbers. I'm making that statement. He can only do what he can do, right? But yeah, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a year. That's a lot. That's hauling hustle ass. <laughs> Six, as somebody said, six hundred and thirty dollars every damn day. Yeah. Woo. And don't get me wrong, that probably get, that probably gets balanced out. You know, some days he does better than others, and then you know, kind of he probably rounded off. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna read this comment, but uh, it it it. it, it. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just saying, bro. It's 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 highly unlikely that that happened, but I can't I can't I can't I can't say it didn't happen. Okay, so no, I, I okay, think let's you know, just. I, I but here, here's the bigger okay, question. So I, I just want to pose this one. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to give you a hypothetical. Okay, we 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 believe that it may not happen. Okay, but like. If we could say with a hundred percent accuracy that it did happen and it was possible, but it took you to work 16, 18 hour days, would you be willing to do that? Yeah, that's no. No. Uh, you guys, not for you guys. I did it. No. But I'm just saying. You know. So when it, when it, when I was in the trade show industry, our average work day was about 14 hours a day. That was my average work day. And we did that for 10 months out of the year. I could start in Miami Beach at 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. or 6 a.m., be in Broward County by 6 p.m., and be in Orlando by 8 a.m. the next morning for another job. That's the way we roll, right? That was how we did, that's how we did our work. We weren't in a car at these rates for six. Bro, it was a union job. Homie, I was getting paid. 14 mm -hmm. hours a day with double time with overtime and overtime and double time wasn't after 40 hours it was just depending on the time of the day 
that's what it was. So what I'm suggesting is, I know what it is to make real money labor-wise. Two hundred fifty thousand? God damn, that's a lot of money, bro. That's a lot of money, bro. Mm-hmm. All right, Mario, is your audio up? Testing one two. There, there you go. Is. There right, you go. Mario. And I <laughs> think guys. And Carrie, and Carrie joined us tonight. What's, What's up, up Carrie? How you doing? I got All some right. big news for y'all later, man. Let me know when y'all ready for it. Though. Oh, just got another tip. Another ten dollar and thirty nine. Carrie. Thank Yo, you. what up, everybody? Yo, Eddie, you saw the DM I sent you? Yeah, I just well, I just saw did, it. Did you get that? Uh, yeah, no, I got it. I actually got it. I saw it. Um, you, 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 you ain't gonna like some of other people's results. Oh shit! So everybody got that? Yeah, a lot of us got it. I didn't know that. When, yeah, when did y'all talk about this? What the fuck? I missed. No, no, no. I, oh, I, I, I just found out about it today. With. I just found yeah. out about it today. I'm driving. One of my buddies sent me a picture. Hey, he's like, take check your account. Look at what I got. I was like, what the? F-? Yeah. You know? And then I go to my account. I go to my account. I don't see nothing, right? And I yeah. was like, let me refresh. I refreshed and boom. That's, 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 that's why I wanted to come on because I usually just like to watch and hear y'all, man. But I'm like, hold up. I got to ask the boys all this shit. Did everybody, is this a fucking glitch? At first I was like, somebody like fucked up and tipped me this shit or something. Cause I was like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's real. And I cast it out as soon as I seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, Everybody yo, my did. wife's like, my, yo, yo, Vinny, my wife was like, cast that shit that fuck out right now. <laughs> right I think everybody down. was like, exactly. That, Listen, I, like I told Eddie, I only got twenty four dollars, but I only had the Tesla for like two weeks last year. So Mario, you got your money today, right? Yep. Everybody, every, four twenty. Huh? Come on, bro. Four twenty, really? Really? <laughs> I don't know. I swear. That's gonna be its own I, vlog, bro. You gotta oh, have I your got, own I vlog. Wasn't, I wasn't smoking, bro. I, I was not smoking. Bro, they, <laughs> uh, no it was. I thought at first. I thought it was, I didn't have reception. I was driving somebody to the airport. Yeah. And I I know I'd only had like forty five bucks made, and I wasn't gonna work tonight because of my nephew's birthday. And then I dropped them off at the airport, and I look at my totals. I got the signal back. Uh-huh. And, and it said like 480 something dollars and I'm like oh. <laughs> I was like I haven't made that money in one day <laughs> well, I, did, I did break 400 a couple times but but not not like that mm. bro right. yeah. Uh, so real, real yeah quick. then I checked I checked the messages and it said something about uh, EV right it's an EV mm. Uh, yeah, it's an EV credit. Yeah, yeah, it's credit. an EV credit. Just, and yeah, gotta... the guys that I uh, communicate on the group chat, or if you watch my channel, I, I have a group chat with. It's mainly Cubans, Venezuelans, Colombians. We all speak Spanish. Oye man, oye man. Yeah, you know I can talk that shit too. And man. we all started sharing what we made, and uh, one of the guys had as little as thirty nine bucks, and he was pissed. Because <laughs> everybody was like, "Oh, I got three hundred and twenty. No. I got four twenty. I got a hundred and fifty. I only got forty-two. You know, like something that where it makes a bro. big difference, bro. Like right. that's your day, bro. That's and then, and then, and then they're they're debating like, well, should I call Uber? Like we don't know what who got what. <laughs> no, don't fucking call Uber. Don't Never call, call them. them. I go, bro. No, I don't call don't support call. unless it's the last. Bro, straw. I. I I worked all morning, bro, and I made like 140 bucks. I was like, yo, I'm gonna go out and make a little extra. And I, I, I look, I'm like, you know what? And that shit said $916. I was like, what and you're like, oh, fuck? I already worked, I'm coming home. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then I'm like, nah, this is bullshit. <laughs> bro, but wait, this happened already. This happened a couple weeks ago, too. I got like a random $300 back pay something. This happened some oh, other time. Oh shit! Oh no, it was oh, the uh, oh. when you keep the when you keep the platinum status or whatever the diamond. Oh, yeah. you got that that thing. Which yeah. I by thought, the way, I already got that. I thought they only gave you that once. Well, listen, if you got it twice, exactly. Yeah, you, I, oh, you, y'all, 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 right now, y'all, y'all, right now, y'all, 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 yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't call support for nothing, man. I don't know. No, you end up, you end up, you end up, you end up like Nick, deactivated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like you know what? Not deactivated. He was giving. I don't want you to know anything pass. else about me. Yeah, I got really happy, man. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, 
right, all right, thank you. I'm, you know, right. but I, I really thought it was a tip first before I was like, I know Uber ain't gonna give us no shit. So I was like, I definitely got no, somebody. Don't give nothing. Somebody fucked up a tip. That's somebody was exactly wrong. What I, thought. I mean, that was all the pushback that came from all the the research that Sergio and those guys were doing. It's like. So for all those people that keep sitting there saying that Sergio's not doing anything. Yeah, no. Hey, once got I got that little then. letter, once I got that little paragraph that it said, Carrie, we <laughs> fucked up. You know, from exactly. 2022 and 2023, <laughs> that's pretty much what it was, right? Like they pretty much but, said, "Hey, we, we, ro we robbed you, you, you so here's the money we really owe you." That? I just, I just, I, you we know, robbed you, you and we invested the money we stole from you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we we All giving right. you seven hundred, but guess what? We we made like like seven thousand off that bullshit. You, you yeah. Know you. Well, listen. So, well, you, you guys are making me nervous, so I just can't. You guys, me. you guys with yeah. Teslas though. At the end of every pay period, of, of every week, I used to get a message that said you earned an extra thirty um, ninety one dollars oh, this week. Right. That yeah. means I yeah. did ninety one rides. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. But, but but that is the EV for the EV credit, right? But yeah. that. Mm -hmm. is included in the fares that you see in, in yeah. my understanding right, right. Yeah. so right. it's not like Mostly. it's not like you ran they the, used the, to have the week it regular and all of a yes. sudden it's like here here's 91 dollars. no you already made that 91 dollars. right right but it's i have noticed pay. that they have not sent me one of those in a while i think yeah oh well i got one better for you mario mm -hmm. mario mario Whatever. if i don't get this in there scott's gonna fucking fly to miami and kick my ass Go mario <laughs> you are the goat on uber blocks you think so yeah i Scott think Robinson, bro let me tell you something now i'm gonna be I'm, I, I gotta be honest with you since i got your ass on i don't watch nobody's shit past 20 minutes nobody you know, yeah your shit i can turn on your video <laughs> go wash my ass go wash the dishes put the laundry in and i got it's shit just in the me house. yapping in the background it is just going bro like and then and you then don't you wait real, for me to flip i don't out, think you right? realize well, you're, you then know, you're waiting for something to flip out. Like, uh, yeah, uh, you know why? Usually you know it's like why? 20 minutes of like, all right, I got this right. Okay, I got that right. Okay, I'm heading over there. And then all of a sudden it's, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 and it's and, like, I can't fake that. That's really happening. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we love about it, bro. Quick, that's, quick heads up to everybody. Like, I don't know if everybody noticed, but around my way, like, you could tell the, the tax bottlers are out this week. So I hope everybody's working because. Oh, well. I've been getting tips. I've been getting comforts. Even when my I've been taking Uber X's because I just really don't care anymore. I just you know I just, I didn't just think go. about that. But people been, bruh, it's been extra tipping. It's been it's been a good week. It's been tips have been good. Pe tips, tips have been, have been good. good. You can tell people got their taxes. We got to take full advantage. The surges have been up. Well, um, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. The up there in O Town, you're in O Town. Uh, do you guys get any kind of spring break up there? Um, I don't think in Orlando. I think more like you'd have to go up to like Daytona. Oh, we get it. We get spring break. But what I mean is, do you get an influx of families and shit like that taking their kids to the Disney or the theme parks or anything like that? Um, I don't really, I, honestly, bro. Like, I, I really I haven't tested that. You know, like on spring break, I just go, right. bro. You know, like I just go. I'm be honest with y'all. Like, when I turn my shit on, it's not like I really don't plan for an area. I just turn it on and, and whatever happens, happens after that. I just be taking, like, hey, I, that works. I lowered my mm -hmm. standards already because I noticed that, like, I go crazy if I'm there waiting for shit. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to let shit go, bro. And, like, I'm going to I'm gonna do what I used to do before. Like, I'm just going to put faith that I'll take tips off of them. And it's been working. Like, you know, rich people take regular Uber. And people with yeah. money take, mm -hmm. and they, they just, they let, but I have been noticing because I've been doing a little bit of Uber a lot more and it's just been like a lot of people noticing about like the whole um that we ain't getting paid shit like a lot of people have been telling me like yo i heard y'all ain't getting paid shit i heard uber so a lot of people have been mentioning that more but um i just try not to like like i don't care no more bro like when i'm doing uber i'm kind of like chilling just trying to make extra money but like i just take every uber even if it's a, a four dollar ride i don't care get in and let's let, like let's go you know because that's what my test has already been sacrificed you know like it's not like you know it's, it is what it's been what i call it, it's been hoard out already you know it's, <laughs> <laughs> well so so that brings me back to why i wanted uh, i wanted mario on the night and like i say mario with your permission i'm going to repost your yeah. video on my community yeah, go page. for it go for it well i like to ask first unless your name is nick and then i just do that shit randomly 
Um, <laughs> God damn. I'm glad you admitted it. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, I, I have horror <laughs> stories of Hertz from previous friends that have rented through Hertz and now are at Drive Whip. I under, I, I've heard all the horror stories. Personally, they have not messed up anything payment-wise since I've been renting with them. Wow. Now, it's been a pain in the ass to do the maintenance and to show up there at 8 in the morning and all that. That's all a pain in the ass. And I don't know about where you guys are, but in my, the Miami office is slammed. Mm. It's like if you're not there, like, I don't know, if you in that vlog, you could see I was there at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, and I just... You talking about for drive gotta be for, for, You got to be first for, in line because they, they bring out the little QR code thing, and then it doesn't matter if you're first or you're twentieth. They all they all like table. huddle around the door when it opens, and then she brings out the QR code, and then everybody just brings out their phones. So technically, but that recently they've been QR like, code, okay, you Mario. were here first, huh? That fucking QR code, bro. Oh my god, bro. I remember I had an Android trying to scan that shit. Oh lord, bro. Yeah, and the iPhone, <laughs> it pops up. But So luckily, I was able to uh, get another car. So, but, um, so how many... I how, don't know. It, it's just... How many Teslas did you go through in that vlog? Okay, so the Tesla that I rented in October, uh -huh. the gray one that I've been running this whole time, started getting... Uh, I don't know if you guys watched my vlog, but my, my Tesla was making like an engine noise. Yeah. Everybody would ask me, all the clients would ask me, like, what? Did, how did you put the engine noise in your Tesla? Because every time I would speed up, it would go. <laughs> but then I had a mechanic sit, sit out in my car and says, you know what that is, bro? That is a ball bearing of one of your tires uh, on your right side. So apparently whoever had my Tesla before wasn't doing maintenance. Maybe the thing got rusted out. I don't know what was wrong with the car before I got it. It had 25,000 miles before I got it. How much was the so, I didn't fix it. Then the AC broke because it was running fine. And like I said, I don't like turning in the car for if it's running, I can't miss a day of work. You know, that's just my where I am. You know, I can't afford two days without a, without without income. We feel you, you know, that's brother. just where we, I'm at. We feel you, brother. We feel so, you. Mm -hmm. So so if there's something cosmetic or anything like that with a Tesla rental, I just deal with it myself. Try not to get them involved in any way because that's another day I have to be there at eight in the morning, and then, then you go to Pet Boys for the maintenance. Mm -hmm. I've been stuck there. That's an entire afternoon. Mm -hmm. entire. Don't and we know if it. you don't get there? And that's that's you getting there in the morning. Imagine showing up to Hertz at two p.m. and her, and Pet Boys closes at six. Please. Now you have a four-hour window to mm -hmm. get your tires rotated or your whatever the hell the maintenance, and they mm -hmm. won't let you go home with the uh, they won't let you redo um uh, uh, uh the appointment they won't let you release the car without the maintenance oh Yo, i'm stuck in that mario when i tried to when i was running the car in 2022 i i just built a relationship with one of the tire shops so i would have the guy's actual number at tire plus and i would tell him yeah he would hustle for me because you know hertz are going to try to bullshit you and They'll do a review and try to just get you the cheapest shit, which is two, either two tires or whatever cheap shit they could do. The guy I had in Tire Plus, somehow he would find a way to always get me four new tires. I mean, I I, ha I handled, uh, I had blowout, not blowouts, but like leaks or whatever. I handled that on my own. Okay. But when, when, but when they send you the email for the fleet maintenance, yeah, yeah. like they literally won't let you keep the car unless you handle that yourself like it they won't they'll, they'll say you have to turn in your car yep you know what i'm saying like if you're if my car's due on thursday instead of the renewal email they send you like don't do anything and then we'll renew your credit card right there it sent me a message that says turn in your car or visit the hertz station for for instructions on how to proceed with the rental yeah I, and in, and in, unless you did not accept their voucher and go to Pet Boys and get it worked out. Yeah, they, they try to do that, that shit to me one time, but every time they do that, they, they try to do some shit like that to me. I, I really, I would just pull up on them and I would tell them, nah, give me another Tesla, bro. I ain't, I ain't taking this shit. And they'd be like, Carrie. And I'm like, Carrie. I've heard some people try that, but 
the first time that it happened to me, they wouldn't let me get, I go, just give me, can I, is there another car? And they wouldn't. They, they said no. Goes, no. Yeah. They said no, because this maintenance thing was an email that was sent to you three weeks ago. So it was your responsibility You're right. to handle the maintenance. You're right. Because yep. I, I did, I remember one time they did say some slick shit like, oh, we'll try to get you another one. But, but, um, you know, it, it, you know, we, we, there's none available. You know, so 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 so, bas people, so basically, people say that the, tells the whole, us back for any imperfections, like the alignments on the panels. They'd be like, yeah. "Nah, take it back. Give me another one." Yeah, like anytime yeah, I could try to get a new bro. one, I would try to for, like they would have to really tell me, "No, no, no." A lot of times for me not to get another one, because usually I would get my way. I would tell them, "No, y'all gonna give me what, another one." What 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 station are you? Where are you in up, Orlando? Are you from? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yeah, I would really try to like tell them, like, "No, y'all ain't gonna just." I'm paying this rental. If not, take this car back. No. Nah. And they'll be like, okay, we'll give you another one. Because I remember one time they gave me a, um, a Tesla and, like, it pissed me off because, like, the whole um, autopilot shit was not working. Like, you couldn't see the screen. You couldn't see, uh, right. you know, like, the actual little cars next to the Tesla and all that, you know, all that cool shit. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, no, nah, I don't want this shit. And what the fuck is the point of the Tesla if I can't do all the cool shit, you know, so. Well, I, I, um, I just got... I think the I think every office is different. Yeah, you're right. And and I think the Miami one is especially busy. Ratchets, because yeah. during season like this, like when I when I turn okay, here's here okay. Here's the deal. There are people waiting for Teslas to come in at some point. Like there are people outside of Hertz waiting for people mm -hmm. to turn in their Teslas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, oh this shit didn't work out for me. It's too expensive. It it didn't make sense. Yeah. You know, maybe they, they tried it for one week. And it, they said, oh, holy shit, I spent $500 on this rental and I only made, you know, 700 bucks. Fuck this, right? Yeah. That was me the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that the first couple of weeks were a little rough for me, but I, I kind of went in it. I almost didn't. I almost just did it for the experience, you know? Well, that's like, why, oh, I let's think that's why we all did Tesla. it. We, I yeah. think that's how we yeah. all got started. Was just we got then as soon as as they soon as you learn hooked. how to mess with the categories, you know, uh -huh. then you then the first week I I was about to turn it in. The, if you look at my vlogs, the first time I rented it, I was like, oh, I might turn it in this week, and then I extended it one more week, and then uh. it was like, oh, you know what? This is pretty cool. Now I know that there's Premiere, and I can turn X off. Yeah. You know, I didn't know that because I was new to Uber. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Let's give this another week, and then. Yeah. And then and then I started uh, communicating with other people telling me, like, don't turn in your Tesla because you're not going to be able to rent it yeah. when the busy season starts. Yep. And they're right. And maybe it's slowed down a little bit now. But a little bit when I w when I um, when I turned into Tesla, because the final straw was not the ball bearings. I was running fine with the ball bearings making the engine noise. Half the people didn't even know the difference. Only it Mario, just sounds like a only Mario would have engine noise. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I had engine noise on my Tesla. And then, but when, but that day that it got into the 50s down here in South Florida, and a passenger asked me to turn the, the heater on. Right. And I noticed that the air was not getting hot. And then I was like, uh oh. And it sent me a little error message. And then the next morning, I tried to turn on the AC uh, and it wouldn't work. So I'm like, shit. I have to turn, I have to turn this car in. I can't Uber without AC in South Florida. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was going to be, uh, oh, this happens all the time. Here's a voucher. Go to Pep Boys. I lose a day. You're going to keep the car. Nope. We'll fix it. No, no, no. They're like, this problem, this is the problem that's not going to get solved today. We need to close you out and start you on a new one. And yep. I was like, well, do you have a car? They had a dual motor, and it was the only one. And I was the first one in line. Yeah. So, so that just goes to show, like, I don't, I don't turn in the car because I don't like it or I get tired of it or I want a different color. Fuck that. I keep it as long as it's working. Yeah. The least amount of time that you spent in that Hertz office is the, is best. the best. Yeah, because yeah. ah. you're right about that shit. They, they try to keep you in there for a minute. You're like, God damn, I've been in here for two hours. What the hell's wrong with y'all, bro? By, by the way, by the way, guys, I, I really need to do this. I didn't realize how rude I was. Oh, by the way, Sergio has joined us. We'll get to Sergio in a minute. But hey, everybody, Sergio, Sergio we love you, buddy. You got a lot of happy campers on this channel yes, tonight. Do. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how. Well, I guess a lot of X drivers. I don't know how long you've been in Miami, but you say you can't drive with a car in AC. Have you taken Uber X in Miami? Have you seen the cars and how they pick up? 
No bumper. I have four that don't had work. Some bad experiences. Nick, taking Nick knows what I'm talking about. Well, <laughs> I I know, the word of English. Well, the, oh, well, I knew I did. One at a time. Well, well, I. I, I woke up that morning with the AC broken and I said, all right, you know what? It's fine because it was kind of cool outside. It was like 72, 72 degrees out. That's perfect. Like you don't really need AC. But my car was hot because it was the start of the day, right? It was, it's, been in that, and it's been in the sun all day. And I got a $48 premiere ride oh. from where I live to Brickell. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I pick up the lady. I pick up the lady and I'm like, I, I roll down the windows. I try to air my car out, you know, like, you know, and the lady sat in the car. And, and the first thing she said was, do you think you could turn up the AC up back here? And then I just had to tell her, listen, ma'am, I'm going to be honest with you. My AC is on the fritz, but uh, let me know if um, if you want to order another car, I could cancel for you, whatever, because, you know, she was clearly uncomfortable. Right. And she can't I can't had to cancel that premiere ride. And then I said, OK. Now, I did work the rest of that night later on after the sun went down. Mm -hmm. Like, South Florida, you can get away without working with AC. You get away with a lot of things. It's got to be nighttime. To an extent. To an extent. That's yeah, it. nighttime. Especially the airport rides. They probably don't even know Yo. that. You know, they just want to get out of there and get to their hotel. Yeah, There's a lot that's... of stuff they'd be getting away with down here. Yeah. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. That shit happened to me when I Ubered. I was in a CTS and I had no AC. And the first thing the guy said when he got Cadillac like, had no AC. It. No. Yeah, it shit happened. He was like, the first thing he said was like, "Yo, it's kind of hot." I was like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> He's like, "Yo, <laughs> it, it's uncomfortable." And on, honestly, I think like, right, you can get away with it maybe on UberX and whatever, take people out with the windows down. But when you're driving a Tesla and people are paying forty eight bucks, I mean. I was getting paid forty eight bucks. So how much did, was she paying? Right, like, like come on, bro. That that that, that at a certain yeah, point exactly. you feel like you're not you you you're not doing your job right. You know. All right. So yeah. listen, there was one thing I did not do, and I, and I feel uh, bad about it. So let me do it right now. Mario, that's Carrie yeah. from Orlando. That's Accounting Tom Thomas from Tampa. Maybe. Above you is Stephen from L.A. Next to you on the other side is Sergio Vidian. You know Sergio from the Rag Share guy. Yeah, I watched some of Sergio's um, videos before I started Ubering okay. with, uh, with, don't, the, with don't, the young don't, guy. Listen, his head's already bigger than the car. Don't fill it up. <laughs> yeah, for real. Right? <laughs> for real. <laughs> then you got uh, what's it, it, uh, what is it called? In, in the Money Club. I watched that. Deactivate Vinny. Club. Don't deactivate me, okay? Hey, listen. <laughs> I didn't say we it. already know Sergio deactivated freaking Nick. Okay, so oh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right, so and then you got Eddie. Yeah. You know Eddie from Austin, Texas. You know his videos. Yeah, I I also Eddie was the first guy I looked on YouTube. I think you were on an interview show and you were talking about the Tesla. Yeah, Ronnie's how speed. you made two Ronnie's two thousand a, a week, and, and then, I was uh, like, whoa, this guy made two thousand a week. And then you get I knew it was possible. In the top part there, that's the ultimate contrarian that's what that's how i look at it he's a good guy though he's a good guy we let him hang out with us and then next to me you got nick he's also a uh tesla driver with drive whip so i wanted to get that all out the way and i feel like i've seen nick before you might have he's everywhere bro. <laughs> he is he is, he, miami you, is he in south florida she's she, she, oh yeah miami vinnie oh, okay yeah he's down yeah, south miami. he's down there by you wait mario you're where brickle yeah. or kendall I live in South Miami by UM. Okay. You're gay. But I, I drive everywhere. Like tomorrow, I'm going to be in Boca all day. Good. Mm. Call me, goddammit, so I can get you. Yeah, I'm going to call you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all right. I live more further south. All right. Uh, like because we're going to be running Kendall, up against okay. time here, I want to give Sergio the floor a little bit. Again, Sergio, seriously, bro, a lot of people are happy with you right now. I don't know if they realize what you were able to accomplish by getting the EV money back to us, but. Eddie's in for fifteen hundred. Mario's four twenty. Carrie's nine hundred. Nick's a couple hundred. I'm twenty four dollars. I expected that because you don't like me, and that's okay. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm still gonna buy you a case of beer, bro. Is he frozen? There he is. Yep. I'm here. So Sergio, on behalf of the our community, our little world, thank you, brother. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. Um. Omar's one not more happy. For the, one Omar's more for the happy. good guy. Omar's <laughs> not happy. He says, you know, it takes electricity to start my car, so it should be considered an EV. 
Where's his money? Okay, okay. Omar, Omar is lucky he's not deactivated, but that's okay. Um, well, you um, missed. You got Nick deactivated. You meant for Omar, and you got Nick done, bro. The wrong I did? Today. He got deactivated? Yeah, but he's reactivated now. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, it's, it was a good day. One for the good guys. Um, sure. So far, did Eddie really get 1500 yeah. Oh, you want me to show you? Yeah, 1495, was it? 14. Um, okay. Eddie, are you looking at your OnlyFans account or Uber? <laughs> no, 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 um. Oh, shit. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, I see video. it. I see it. I see it. Um, when did you stop your EV adventure, Eddie? When Vinny told him to get the Cadillac? Um. Hey, hey, hey! I did not should tell I, you should I, should I, should oh. I, Son of a bitch. Should I say it? I got, I got, I got um, something for you, bro. I got 21, something for you, 22? bro. 21, 22? Yeah, I think it was uh, 22 when I stopped my uh, when I stopped my EV adventure. Stopped it? Is that what we're calling it? Yeah. That's what, and I got, because okay. I've had my, uh, I have had my SUV for a little bit over a year now. Okay. Uh, how long, oh, how so, long so uh, did you have was, your, how long did you have your EV? Uh, three years. Yeah, three years. Three years. Three years. Um. Okay. Um. So. Okay. Anyway, good. Good for you guys. Um. I'm glad everything worked out. Um. I, I mean, I can't say much. Honestly, I can't. Um. But I'm glad it worked out. It was a good day at the office. Um. Uh. There's more to come. Um. Uh, but uh, let's see. So far. So far. Last year and this year, uh, last May, we got California drivers a couple hundred million dollars on the Prop 22 end. Um, uh, about a month and a half ago, actually, we got drivers their second um, Uber Pro reward, which they shouldn't have fallen for, but a lot of people did, and they didn't get paid, and then fortunately, we got them paid. That's no, that's Mario? kudos. That's kudos. That's kudos on Uber because they didn't have to pay. Um, and uh, then we got uh, it was a small glitchy kind of a thing that there was a there was some tip tip dating kind of a thing going on when actually when you when you're driving black and you drop down did X your tips will rolled into your upfront fare so we figured that one out. What? Um, that was oh. yeah. That sounds like an Eddie problem. <laughs> oh, okay. When you when you driving, when you're driving black or Premier, yeah, and you open up a lower platform, yeah, tips actually become part of your lower platforms upfront fare. Correct. Yeah. The um. <laughs> yeah, so that we, we got that one done. Uh, that was that wasn't that much money, but we got so, that one done. And then the big one is the EV one, uh, which we I don't know. I think it was last March, maybe or last uh, February. We uh, we showed it and we talked about it and um, we showed the proof. Um, I mean, obviously things work slow. And uh, I'm glad everybody got money. I mean, I was like, my inbox blew up today, right about four o'clock. That's about when. And, and yeah, my time. And everybody was like, I got money. What is this? I'm like, uh, <laughs> I really can't. I really, can't, I really can't say. But then, um, but then I, um, uh, let's see. Uh, but then I tweeted it, uh, which was. I don't know, like five o'clock, maybe four thirty, with some of the some of the earnings. Being, I mean, the highest I've seen so far is nineteen hundred. Um, Eddie's, I think, is pretty high. Uh, yeah. But mostly it's yeah. like fives, and sixes, eights. I've seen a bunch of those. Uh, I'm sure it's a lot more than that. People who don't know where they got it from, because just like Prop Twenty Two money, when they returned it, it was just one line item, with saying that, "Oh, we're just giving you some money. There's no breakdown. You have to trust us that the math is correct on that." Hmm. Um, I, you know, a lot of people were asking, like, "How come it's not round numbers and things like that?" And it's because they were shaving twenty cents sometimes, thirty cents sometimes, dollars sometimes, fifty cents sometimes. 
And, um, but I'm glad, I'm glad it worked out. So we had four really good things done in a year and change. Um, there's a couple things we're working on. There is actually a very massive Prop 22 thing I'm working on. Um, but, you know, we just keep doing what we're doing. Um, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I talk to these people all the time, so I'm really in a difficult position to uh, say too much. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you, can you say know, Serge, Serge, uh, Serge, you say a little bit. I, I want to ask you something, dog. Like, where, 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 where did this, like, how did this happen? Like, did, where, did this, where is this money? Like, did they steal it? Like, wh how did we get this? Um, okay, the way it worked out is, so we did a test in Chicago last, I was suspicious of this anyway. Um, we did a test in Chicago with five, one or two, three, four, five, five drivers. Um, we had four gas ca cars. Actually, we were testing for something else. We just locked into this. I remember it. I remember. And we were testing for algorithmic wage discrimination because we had proven that before. But uh, uh, Chris, my my co-host, was going to Chicago, and I said, you know, we'll have a big crowd in Chicago. Why don't you get a few drivers together to test for this? Because there was an article in LA Times before then talking about algorithmic wage discrimination. And her name is uh, Vina Dubal. She's a legal scholar uh, at Stanford. And now she's at UC Irvine. So she was, you know, she was talking about that, you know, how come two different drivers for the same job are getting two different prices? And, but she didn't have any proof. She was just kind of, it was like her feeling, like, I feel like this is happening. I feel like that's happening. What happens is that, you know, papers listen to those kind of academics a lot more than drivers, obviously. And uh, so we did our test. And uh, when we did our test, it was sure enough, you know, we had four phones side by side. Everybody turned their apps on and we screen recorded it in a busy area for like 45 minutes to an hour. And we sync the videos, meaning like um, two drivers will get the same trip, same time, same uh, circumstances, same pickup, same drop off. And Uber couldn't say anything about it because they couldn't say it's GPS issues and this and that. And it's because the four phones were literally like half an inch from each other. So, you know, and uh, we proved the algorithmic wage discrimination because there was quite a bit of a difference between the prices between drivers, we could never figure out why. Like if somebody was had a high AR, high CR, whatever. But during one of those tests, we saw something that, like when Chris and I watched the video before we put it on Show Me The Money, I was like, wait a minute, why is this happening? So out of the five drivers in Chicago, four were gas drivers, one was a Tesla driver, and his phone was the one on the right on the screen if you guys watch the video. Mm -hmm. So what would happen is what would happen is that the gas drivers would get the trip, let's say at uh, a, 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 a $9 trip, right? And then a second later, obviously he's, everybody's declining. You know, we're not even clicking the X, we're just letting it ping out. And then what would happen is that the Tesla driver would get it. Well, nine plus one in my math is 10. He should yep. get it for 10 but with the EV credit, which is a dollar. But he would get it at $9.80. And then next time he would get it 30 cents less. And sometimes it was a dollar, but sometimes he would lose the whole dollar altogether. Wow. So unless you're, unless you're next to an ICE driver, or ICE meaning in, internal combustion driver, engine yeah. driver, you're yeah. never going to know. Because what happens is that after the trip, when you look at your summary, EV credit shows up as one dollar, but they just yeah. shaved your base fare by twenty cents, thirty cents, forty cents. Wow! Right. right. Well, that's, so that's, that's what uh, that's what Mario wow. was saying. Also, is that you don't see that dollar Crazy. at the end of the week. It's already in the it's already in the fare every time you take the trip. That's yeah. Part of so, Crazy. But then at the end of the week, if you did hundred trips, you will you would see hundred dollars in EV promo. Mm. So right. you but then, but then on the other hand, they took the money away from your base fares. So and you will never know is, that. You will never know that. They took, so they, they tricked us to say, yo, you're getting a dollar extra, but they really took it off from the base fare. Of the fare. Yeah. Wow. That's mind-blowing, bro. Wow. 
So anyway, we caught that, and then, you know, we caught that, and we publicized it. Oddly enough, actually, I'm going to hit the, all the dumb fuck journalists that I sent this to, and none of them would touch it. And I'm sure they'll touch it tomorrow. Uh, and, and then, uh, you know, we kept doing it. We did another test. It was the same thing. In fact, we did one at Curvivore last year in March in downtown L.A. Same thing. I'm going like, okay, this is this is bullshit. So and then you know we we opened the Pandora's box and then uh, you know um, and then that's why people are getting you know these odd numbers like four hundred and thirty two dollars and eighty cents and stuff like that. Uh, but what happens is that now the problem is Uber is going to send that as income to you guys, so you guys may have to pay tax on that. Uh, as opposed to your 1099 NEC, which is promos, right? Which which is different, treated differently. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. Well, I'm not. I can't. I can't, I can't say much mm -hmm. about that. But uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to figure well, that is. out. It, it, it is. It is income. I mean, it is legit income. It was money they just didn't pay out, but that is money that you earn. Yeah, but you know how when yeah. you get your 10 in 1099s, mm -hmm. you get two of them. You get a 1099K right. and then 1099 NEC. NEC is all your promos and quests and things right. like that. So, oh, yeah. oh. you know, that has to get that has to get a little treat. That has to get different treatment. But I mean, look, we're not splitting hairs here. Look, it, it worked out. Everybody got their money, and you guys have to trust it. I mean, I, I would have, I would have. Look, I, I really pushed for a breakdown, uh, but it, it wasn't meant to be. Um, and you know, it was vague. You know, hey, you're getting some money because. In 2022 and 2023, something happened with EV. I'm like, uh, yeah. okay. So, yeah, I mean, um, look, I took my victory lap on Twitter. Everybody was happy, which is good. I mean, <laughs> I don't Buddy, know. Even I, I retweeted you. Even I retweeted oh. you. And I'm, I'm usually oh. an ang angry Twitter guy. Ang yeah, I'm okay. an angry ex guy. I even retweeted you, buddy. Okay. okay. So, all of you who got the money, owe me a beer. That's it. There you go. I tell okay. you, I DM'd Eddie as soon as I got that. I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna screenshot Eddie. What the fuck is going on here, bro? I don't have to go on the cast today." <laughs> somebody, bro. somebody screenshot me there. Uh, uh, there was like, "Hey, look at look at my account. Look at all this money that I just got." And I was like, "You do like what the hell is going on?" Because I looked at my, I looked, I looked at mine, and it just said like twenty twenty seven. I think it was like twenty seven dollars. I was like, I didn't get nothing. I was like, "Yeah, forget it." You know, it's probably one of those glaciers or something like that. But I was like, you know what? Let me refresh. And I refreshed it, and then poof, it popped up. I was like, yes, yes. Only I didn't fans, know what the hell direct, it was for. All I know is that only, there was a message fans, saying an EV only, thing. It was OnlyFans direct deposit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, 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 yeah. Your, guys, your guys' money kicks in on, on Thursdays. Okay. So. Uber just sent about $960 for back pay for the dollar EV car. Um, what the fuck? My phone just popped up for nothing and asked me to try Gemini. I ain't trying that racist shit, man. Fuck out of here. Anyway, sorry. Um, hashtag mess Tesla Model 3. So there's another another happy driver with you, bro. You did Thank good, you, man. Oh. Yeah, congrats. You did yeah. good, bro. You did good. Yeah. But you guys but not but now I gotta be it. go ahead, Omar. I was gonna say you guys all owe Sergio a beer and Vinny has to pay for the tip for the Uber ride because we want to promote, you know, being safe and responsible here. After all those beers, I don't know if oh, Sergio yeah. can see straight. Sergio's going to get obliterated <laughs> with all the beers. Are you going to get an Uber oh. X home? Hey, can you put the window down? There you go. <laughs> where, where, where is the... Uh... Well, I mean, if, if the thing works out, I will be in at the Taylor Swift concert on in October. So if it works yeah, out... Yeah, yeah. Where, where is it? You, bro? You can drive you around Sergio, around put, up, put up a... Uh, you owe me a beer scan code thing. And we can put it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, it's all good. But when, it's look, when, me. when people it's good see me, you... when people see me, they'll buy me a beer. That's it. Wait, right. but Sergio, you know it's good that Nick got his account back so he can actually give you the ride over there. Damn. It's like so far, uh, so far into the future. I'm not even looking at it. I mean, I, you know. Assuming I'm, Vinny's labor, okay? It's 2023. We don't assume. You're the one that labor. already. You are you're bro, the one that already disqualified. Twenty twenty three. What you you another? You're like Richard, bro. You can't math right. Twenty twenty four. 
goddamn alien looking motherfucker. Anyway, Sergio, if I don't ask this question, I'm going to get my ass kicked. And I don't like getting my ass kicked, so I have to ask the question. I won't believe your that. um your video, your your interview with the driver last week. Okay? Yes. You vet you vetted and verified those numbers, correct? Absolutely. Okay. That was the question. That's that's the only question because stand behind it hundred percent. I even verified the numbers with Uber, so it's all right. Well, no, listen, we, we all trust you, but we tried to do the math. There's no math. What is the math? Okay. Omar, what is the math? Omar's, Omar's gonna get deactivated for real. Hold on. Hey, there's the wife! <laughs> there's the wife, Steven! <laughs> Steven! All right, oh, now 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 I, now I believe yes. now I believe he got married. Now I believe. <laughs> okay. I, I I want the record to stand, Sergio. I'm not questioning anything because I'm not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll take care of that. Who, who is that? That's okay, Carrie. we're done. It's Carrie. Go ahead, Omar. No, I was just gonna say I I'm not questioning anything, Sergio, because. It's not really a thing for me. I, I didn't even know about anybody that made two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, whatever, big deal. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying. To, my market sucks right now, and we're in season. That's what I'm focused on. So I am not questioning anything. Don't put me in this category of everybody's questioning your logic, Sergio. Not me, bro. Not me. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, if I have if I have verified ten ninety nines, and if I have uber and lyft yearly summaries what else can i say i mean i don't know i'm i i, I know they're not photoshop and the guy that i mean look he uh, his story is great and if you guys watch the video and the article will come out with all the documentation probably next week um we, we're not questioning we're not questioning the that how he made that kind of money he works hard Bro. he works hard he you know he i don't know i mean so, so dollars a day, though. Uh, no it's, so not, it's not it's not because you know why because you guys are forgetting about all the quests you guys are forgetting about and he's in the best market in, on the planet right now okay and he has been in the best market on the planet for for three years and he's a hard worker he, he works literally 16 hours a day and if you guys watched the video, he was in, uh, he was a chef in high end hotels, line chef, uh, prep chef. And he goes, Sergio, this is easy for me because I, I used to stand on my feet for 16, 18 hours with no sleep working. Right. This is much better for me now. And if you look at his miles, he's really didn't put on, the, I mean, he did obviously, but he put on like maybe for all that money. I didn't think it was that many miles. It was like 60, 70,000 miles a year. You know, the only thing he, you can tell his earnings are going down since up front, right? Uh, right, right. You, you went down about 25K and his trip count went up. Like think his trip count went up just, by 1,000 from 22. Think about what you just said, bro. Think about that for a second. His, since upfront pricing, his money went down $25,000. Yes, yes. That is insane. And not only that, his trip count was a thousand more than 2022. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. So wow. instead of 67, he did 6,700 trips in 2022. Uh, but in 2023, he did 7,700 trips on Uber and another few thousand on Lyft. Um, Bro, he's he got, he's got a total of, he's got a total of 60,000 trips. That Dang. article, sh that article should be called the case for cherry picking. Not at all. He he accepts pretty much ninety eight percent. There is no case for cherry picking anymore, sir. You can sit there and yell all you want. Cherry picking. Cherry picking doesn't work. Cherry wait, picking doesn't wait, work wait, in wait. my market. Cherry wait, picking wait, doesn't wait. work hold in my on, market. Hold on, hold on, search. Hold on, search. Hold on, search. Can you say that again one more time for the guys in the back because they didn't hear you? Cherry picking does not work depending on your market. If you're in a great market, cherry pick all you want. If you're not like, okay, this weekend I went out and did 14 trips because now I'm on Lyft's case about this time and mileage shaving bullshit that they're pulling on every trip. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, I did 14 you're trips. You're quoting so much, so many trips. It's insane. I well, I did that. There is a video on that too. You guys have obviously don't watch us, uh, which is bad. Um, I did a video. I did 14 oh, 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 oh. trips. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of us got to work. Y'all drop 
rideshare guy drops like eight videos a day with clips and, and all. Come on, give us a break. We got we got to work too, buddy. I get it. I did. I mean, look, all I'm saying is that I did 14 trips on Lyft, uh -huh. um, right. <laughs> including tips in eight hours online and six hours active. I grossed 149, and just today, first time in my life since Prop 22 showed up, I got a Prop. I got Prop 22 money as a rideshare driver. Now that goes to show you guys that without incentives, without surge, and at base rates, you cannot do more than Prop 22 money because the algorithm is pegging everything right at the Prop 22 money level. And uh, you know, I, 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 uh, I think my so including tips 149 divided by six was 25 active hour and on eight hour online time 149 divided by eight is about 17 take my seven dollar per hour expenses it was 10 and and i said that actually uh, on the previous video is it time to quit and everybody needs a reality check i've been saying this for a long time now um, you know, you got to have your own reality check while you're doing this. You can go stand at Target for 20 bucks in LA. You don't need to drive. You don't need to take that extra risk. So as a ride share channel, I shouldn't say that, but I'm saying it. And because I'm, I'm honest and I'm just putting it in front of you. Well, your choice to keep driving, but then if you're going to keep driving for 10 bucks an hour, don't fucking complain. Target could be out of target could be out of business Yo, at some point in time. Yo, Sergio, I, I, on some real shit, that's the first thing that I said when I came on, like, like, I've been taking Uber X's because it's like to the point. It's like we all know what we signed up for, bro. Like I'm here, like to 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 work, get my money, and, and and I know that I make more money than the person that works at McDonald's, that works at a call center, that works here. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> okay. All right. I think so. I think so. <laughs> I, think so. I hope so. <laughs> Well, hope, right, hope, uh, hope and pray doesn't get you anywhere. But you know, but like, all I'm honestly, saying is you I'm, gotta, I'm, you I'm gotta look at your numbers. You gotta look I'm at talking, your numbers. I'm t and 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 I'm be and I'm being very modest right now because you know I, I'm talking from a position that I know that now like my social media shit has taken off to another level. I'm, That's I'm a different story. At, exactly. I'm talking so I'm just talking, driving alone. Exactly. I'm just talking about just driving alone income on that yeah. and i've been doing pretty good because i'm like i'm like a bartender i know that i can make my tips you know what i'm saying and, that's and, that's all good man i'm just saying to you that you know it's like to me tips should never count because they're not expected or they're variable at best all i know all i know is a lot of people are in a situation that they should not be driving but they're driving for one reason or another so they're driving so they're driving to make something i mean look again this is wonderful if you want to make something you know, you can upload your documents, drive tomorrow, make 200 bucks in 12 hours. You made something. Was it a good deal? I, I don't think it is. I mean, I don't think you should. If you're going to do a ride share, whatever the minimum wage is in your city, but the risks, look, I, I look at everything and Vinny knows about me, about, you know, about me mm -hmm. when it comes to risk reward. Mm -hmm. um, the risk commensurate to what you're making should should dictate if you should drive or not the risks of driving five six thousand miles a month is a lot that's very high of you getting in a crash and we had a lawyer and he explained how you guys all of you pretty much are uncovered on period one mm -hmm. you know all that good stuff but that's a different story so my rule of thumb about ride share in la county my minimum wage is 17 bucks okay and if i cannot make after expenses 25 which is let's say 40 to 50 percent higher than minimum wage because of the risks i'm taking compared to a somebody that's standing at target for 18 for eight hours i will not do right here and i would not suggest anybody else do right here so i get the flexibility that... and the freedom but i don't think you should i think you should go stand there and the right here is always going to be there it's not going anywhere but you know for these yeah. situations so, where rides so, are sir, coming so, in, sir, so Serge, what I'm trying to, what I'm, what I'm getting from you is that like everybody pretty much got to figure out what they want to do because every market is different, every driver is yes. different, pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, and I you know, you and all of you, look, all it. of you, all of you are top drivers in your cities. I'm pretty sure, right? And for sure. And to me, you know, that you have, I mean, there's there's literally like two x difference between the top 
five percent and the bottom ten percent of drivers if you analyze earnings there are guys actually they're literally making 12 bucks an hour but they're still doing it and then the top oh, guys in the city are doing 30. you no, know no, and, and i've been one of them I, there's been days where i'm like what the fuck did i just work for did i just work for nine dollars an hour what the fuck did you, what does that well you you know and and i'm going to answer this by that i'll, I'll i want to respond to that because we just had this the other night with one of our guys down here okay I, what was that monday night was that monday night omar i think it was monday night with richie huh? richie came oh. out one of our drivers came out on monday night mm -hmm. and he was like bro i've been out here an hour and a half and two hours i haven't gotten a request yet and my point to him was well that's like a red flag that's like a giant ass red flag if it's that dead if you can't where he was at if you can't get a ride request within an hour bro it's time to go home because you know yeah. too well some days you got to pack it in some days you got to pack it in don't push your luck just go home mm -hmm. there's always next day but anyway i mean the point are is you, yeah are you collecting screenshots on the um the time disparity yeah well i was gonna say um before i veered off as usual uh <laughs> uh I did 14 oh, trips. I, I told you guys my earnings. So I'm at 10 bucks an hour after expenses online time and 18 yeah, bucks damn. an hour, 18 bucks an hour. I haven't seen surge in LA for a year other than New Year's Eve and yeah. Halloween. Yep. Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't during, seen, um, I, didn't we got a, we got a little bit on Valentine's a little yeah. bit. Yeah. 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 A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And then uh, I haven't seen an, I haven't seen a quest or, or a ride challenge for yeah. months. That, I, I, I've that, been getting that's quests. That's what I was going to ask you, sir. I've been getting one at like a time, 50, guys. One at a time. Sir, do you think that that's the biggest difference right now? Like the whole, that we're not getting the, the quest no more? Like, do you think that's the biggest shit that's really affecting people? Yeah. And yes. I mean, I don't know what city or what city do you drive in? Orlando. Yeah. That's one of the worst markets. Um, yeah, it is. And, um, uh, um, yes, obviously that's making a huge difference because certain weeks, um, close to 30 to 40% of a driver's income was from incentives, quests, yeah. ride yeah. challenges, streaks, you know, all these boosts, all that stuff, right? That doesn't yeah. exist. And, yeah. and so that's gone. And then in, in a lot of cities, you know, look, Uber runs a different algo for each city. And then at midnight, it reshuffles this bunch. I can tell you guys. Uh, at airports, everything changed at midnight. There's a new, new, uh, different algo running uh, between certain hours. This is I'm li I'm at liberty to say this. Uh, we um, discovered that here. The airport changes yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. the pricing is drastically different, right? So, but anyway, um, so um, out of those 14 trips, um, I put them all on a spreadsheet. Pretty simple because. To Lyft's credit, they're pretty transparent. I mean, if you look at your final receipt or ride summary when you finish your trip, there's two boxes up top. Like one left box says estimate and right box says actual. Lyft is actually telling you right then and there. Uh, with Uber, you have to take a screenshot of the ping because Uber sends you P2, P3 on the pink screen, but then when you finish your trip, they only put up P3. Yeah, oh, those motherfuckers do that shit all the time, bro. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's not. It's just the way they do it. But um, so on 14 trips, uh, all I did was just look at the time difference and mileage difference. Just put them on a spreadsheet, did a total. In 14 trips, I drove an extra 22 minutes and 5.63 miles extra without pay. Yep. Wow. Yep. So wow. That's just on 14 trips. So now take that to a wow. full timer that does 140 trips. Okay. Holy a week. Shit. Times the 10. Times that's that's, cool. that's 220 all. minutes and that's four yeah. hours that's, and man, 55 miles per three. I've been seeing more drivers, Serge. I've been seeing more drivers. Um, you know, the other day I pulled up, um, take somebody from a hotel, you know, down to Orlando to the Disney area, and uh, another driver pulled up and he pretended. Like the, the the ride got canceled, and he convinced the rider to pay him cash. And that's you know because that's horrible because it's that's like horrible. it's like yo they know hey you're getting charged one hundred and twenty dollars you know you you know um I'll I'll do it for eighty because they know the driver's getting thirty bucks 
Yeah, but that uh, I'm completely I'm completely against that. Number one. Yeah. Number two, if you got nothing to lose, if you don't have a house, if you don't have anything to protect, if you don't have a bank account, yeah, go do it all day long. You got nothing to lose. You get in a crash, you kill your passenger, what are they gonna get out of you? Nothing. I mean, look, there is a space there is a time and place for friends and family stuff, but I'm hundred percent against it. And then people call me, Oh, you're a shill. I'm like, yeah. you're a bunch of idiots, bro. You got you got something to protect. You got a family. You got something to protect. You do one of those trips and you get in a fender bender. You're fucked yeah. for life. So yeah. I'm like, whatever. You know, every, look, man, everybody's got to do what they got to do. They got to survive somehow. Yeah, um, but driving 22 minutes extra and five and a half miles, 5.63 miles extra, uh, before upfront fares wouldn't have happened because we had a rate card. It was like you start the trip, the meter starts. You, that's when you stop the trip, the meter stops, just like a cab. Now with upfront, I mean, they go, yep, that's your thing. I'm like, well, I drove like an extra 22 minutes and extra five and a half miles. And one Sorry. trip was actually nine more minutes, lasted nine more minutes. And uh, one trip went two and a half miles over. So I, of course... You know, went to the black deep hole of lift support, and I just two hours later they go, nope, we're not gonna pay you back. I'm like, bro, I drove two, two and a half miles extra on this. Why, why, why wouldn't I get paid? In the old days, I would have gotten paid, right? So yeah. that's the next battle. We're, we're definitely gonna. I'm. I mean, 2024 is got a lot to go. I'm definitely gonna change hey, that wait, somehow. That's wild, man. I appreciate you, you know, sir, Jerry. You already know, man. I said this last time we were on, bro. You got the CIA type of information, bro. So <laughs> keep it coming, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, literally, I'm asking questions. Dude. Well, at, at some point, I got to get paid myself. So I'm like, um, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but so far, so good. So far, we're doing good work. Um, so, I know there are many other channels out there. I know they all do their thing. Uh, we do our thing. You know, we don't pay attention too much. And then, uh, you know. Uh, life goes on, man. It's, but um, if tomorrow, seriously, I mean, look, if tomorrow Uber says, you know, come, actually, I called. <laughs> you guys should watch that yesterday. I, I did. I really did it. Um, anyway, I told Dara. I said because look, um, you can, I'll give you this much, okay? Two uh -oh. two weeks ago, we put up every week. I put up fake names, one for Lyft, one for Uber, because I have like million of them. And because they all promised we're going to get rid of it and uh, they haven't done anything. And so two weeks ago, I put a fake name, put up a fake name. Was The, the name was Swastika. Right. Okay. Oh. And I put it up and I go, what the fuck? Right? Uber. Guess what? <laughs> the next morning, before I even woke up, I had an email. They go, hi, Sergio. <laughs> I go, yeah. It goes, well... Um, you, you, you put up a, a false ID of one of our writers, but we want you to know that swastika in certain cultures means mm -hmm. completely something different than what you said. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're verifying all these names. It's a really difficult thing to do. Right. Wow. And, and I'm like, so I go. Okay, so yesterday, and they said, you know, please, like, take it back. And I'm like, but, no. Um, I, I was like dumbfounded, first of all, that somebody fucking watched it that closely all the way to the end. Usually people don't watch all the way to the end. I mean, I know they watch, but I don't think they watch all the way to, to, through the thing. But that's right at the end, at two hour mark, like a two hour mark, we're at like 300 mm -hmm. people, we're at 500 at certain times. And I'm like, Okay, so I sent it back to them and I said, I said, uh, I'm glad somebody's watching that intently all the way to the end. You guys probably have some uh, little assistant or some intern or some shit watching that shit. But I go, uh, I go, I mean, the connotation of that name is horrible, right? Uh, well, but they're, I said, they're not exclusive, I, but they're not exclusive well, of each other. And I, I want to touch on that point when you're done. Yeah, right. and, and, and they, they told me, they said, you know, swastika means abundance and, and, you know, all kinds of good things in Sanskrit language and stuff. I'm like, oh, uh -huh. my God, you guys fucking did research on all of this shit? <laughs> mm -hmm. But that so was I'm the like, intent, okay. but it's not her, So yesterday, it's not his Chris, name. <laughs> it was his name. 
Oh, his name was Swastika? They checked it. Yeah. Oh. No I way. thought it was like an emoji. Yeah. I thought it was, that was like, his No, 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 no. It was not an emoji. It was emoji. swastika. It was swastika, just oh, written okay. swastika. It was not an emoji, no. And mm -hmm. and oh, okay. and today some driver sent me something. He goes, This is my son in Japan at a temple. And guess what? You know, the swastika turned upside down or the other way, like the other side, yeah. right? Like let's say right. if you're looking in a mirror. Yeah. Uh, is is that yeah, is that is, it was on top of the fucking temple and i'm like jesus yeah, fucking that's, christ that's where what did i step it. into he liked it he liked the design okay good well i i was like okay so yesterday we we uh we uh we took like a, a little bit like we said well you know we took it back a little bit saying yeah you know whatever but I then, didn't uh, back, I didn't think you backtracked, but okay. No, I mean, I didn't backtrack that much. But then we put up a real fake name yesterday, Vinny. <laughs> I go, I go, go fucking verify this one. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it? What was the name? It was like uh, some some ridiculous fucking name. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I go, hold on. I I'm looking for one that I keep seeing. It was like a meme, and I had to send his passport in to prove it. Like, yeah, that's my name. Look. Well, the Uber is verifying names now, so supposedly they're gonna. A lot of chips are gonna start coming with, uh, you know how the check mark, yeah. Twitter check mark. <laughs> they're gonna come in and saying verified. Oh, oh, I just wow. don't agree that they should allow. You shouldn't allow emojis on your on your thing. We can't have a fake name. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Why, 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 why does the customer get to? Yeah, and and it's like an emoji of like a drop of blood. I've had that. Like it's. It's a yeah, that's of, yeah, that's gang sign, right? That's a gang thing. Yeah, that's uh, a gang thing. That's like, anyway, did you kill I mean, somebody? Like what? <laughs> and and, and, and I mean, you know what? It doesn't even have to be that. It doesn't even have to be that way. You know what irks me is when in, when I pick up, and this happens a lot in premier rides, because they don't want to be anonymous. It's a letter, like pick up L, pick yeah, up M. L. I don't oh, like yeah. that either, because then what? What if the trip goes south? I get robbed or or hurt or something. And yeah. what is the copy? Oh, who, well, one who, of my oh, one of my trips that. this weekend was big. The, the guy named Big, he was big. And I go to the house, pick him up, big. And then and the guy was what nothing but like the tiniest motherfucker on the planet. I was like, OK, <laughs> I even asked him. I It was like a five mile trip. I go, I go, you know, your screen name, right? He goes, yeah, I had that for like five years. I'm like, so I go, well, you're not big. <laughs> I, mean, I was laughing with the kid. He's like 25. He's cool, you know, and he goes, yeah, man, you know, in high school, people call me big. I'm looking at him. I'm like, he's, he's nothing more than like five, five, five <laughs> and skinny right, as I shit. Wanna, all right, guys, I, I got I want to I want to start wrapping this up. Uh, Dr. C, I got a false accusation for not being the correct driver from a PAX last week. Damn, yep. Nick, y'all driving the same guy or what? Yeah, yeah. I lit up. Sergio, what's support. this exclusive thing? Hold on, going on and on uh -oh. about black market accounts, and I'd love to verify my account before every trip. Yes. Suddenly, I got a supervisor, tone message replying, thanking me again and again for being such a great driver and not to worry. Okay. Yeah. I like Steven's uh, next question. Messages. The Steven. exclusive thing, the exclusive thing is uh, that was announced like three or four months ago at LA when DK was there. Um, supposedly, you're the first. Driver seeing that offer, exclusive to you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not buying. I'm not buying that whatsoever. I don't um, understand because every ride I get, every ride that's not one of uh, from the radar says exclusive. I don't understand. Yeah, you're the first. You're lucky. You're lucky. You're the first one seeing it mm. before it goes to before it goes to trip before radar where all trips to go to die. Else. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, and then there's gonna be a check mark. It will say verified now next to the check mark, meaning Uber actually did verify or had them upload a ID or something like that. So that's coming around. Well, then uh, I've seen the sign verified. Be... See, there you go. I know this shit. So, yeah, there you well, go. That just, that just means that 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 just means a lot of people are going to be uh, once this spreads verified. Those that aren't verified probably not going to get picked up. No, everybody gets picked up, Vinny. Everybody gets picked up. No, Everybody gets picked up, bro. I'm just, yeah, yeah, I know. Can't do, can't do 2.7 billion trips without picking up. 
Exactly. Exactly. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, so yeah. good to see you guys. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. Um, I gotta run, pick up my son. Um, oh, one last thing. You know, a lot of them, a lot of you guys are getting uh, this passive aggressive bullshit emails from Lyft yes. and Uber. Oh my God! You know, like you have one percent cancellation rate to get an email now from Uber saying, "Oh, you're calling your passenger and telling him to cancel." I'm going like, "What the I got fuck?" That. I got that. Yeah, I got a four percent cancellation no, rating. Somebody was harmed in one of your rides. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of. Careful, I don't know. The algo, now. the algo is messed up. It was yeah, going I, to my. I, I literally got a, I got, I literally got a speeding warning on a day that I was not working. Yeah, don't, don't go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those go to my spam folder, so I don't even see them. Oh, God. Okay, All right, anyway, Sergio, so, we appreciate right, thank you, you brother. Thank you. Have a appreciate night. you, Hoss. Good job, man. Again, right, thank you. We Seriously, man. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. guys. See, see you guys get the, get the hell out of here now and get a beer. Uh, yo, but, yo, I'm going to pick up my... Sergio's in timeout, God damn it. He's out of here. No, I'm just... He's going to get a Bud Light. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. Okay, you're okay now. On that one, I'm coming back. You, I'm definitely gonna get you deactivated. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give you the, I'm gonna give you the fucking day. I'm gonna give you the day. March 13th. Listen up. March 13th or March 14th. Watch your app. I'm giving you the day. I'm not even fucking with you now. I'm giving you the day. March 13th, March 14th. Okay. All right. Just, just make sure your I, 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 I appreciate it. I not you, Nick, not you, not you, Nick, the guy to your left. Uh, <laughs> just for like three hours, I'm going to make you shit your pants on both apps. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. You can't go nowhere yet. Now, now you got to wait a minute. Now I got to look at the days. You said March 13th. Wait, or wait, 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 wait. Sergio, if you really want to fuck with him. Make his app stay on X only. Oh I'm not God. fucking with Nick. I'm fucking with you, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta worry about me. Trust me. Anyway, all right. So, bye, guys. All right, brother. I'll go with Sergio later. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't getting deactivated. What are you, crazy, Dr. C? Hell no. Bro. Sergio ain't the only one knows people. Anyway. Um, all right. Well, we're going to wrap this up. It was a good show. Um, I am going to start with, uh, we'll start with Carrie and we'll work our way up. Um, but before we do that, Mario, brother, man, I'm Yo. telling you, it's a pleasure to have you here, man. It really is. It was, I see and, that red chair sitting back there. I, the only reason that I was taking it easy today is because we got that payout, man, to be honest with you. I'd be at the airport line right Yeah. Now. That makes sense. Yeah. That's why, that's why I, I was almost on time today. Almost. Almost on time. But thanks for having yeah. me, Vinny. I listen to you guys every week. I'll have it on when I'm doing right. And I'll pause it if I talk to a customer. And I, yeah, you guys are guys. And, and you guys give me good information, too. Great information. Well, well, listen, bro, you're, you're like I say, you're one of the few vlogs I can actually watch. Just, watch just make sure minutes. that if you get a puke. Because you just never know when it's coming. You report It's it. a beautiful thing. It's like real. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to work on it, man. I wanna I wanna kinda like, you know, spread I wanna wanna do the live thing again. I wanna do some live shows too. I did a couple podcasts, but I kinda wanna you know, I like Uber vlogging, you know, but I, I kinda like just vlogging in general. Just Yes sir. You know? Yes sir. I sometimes mean, it gets I, I would it like gets, to get into it. I was too lazy. It, it gets tiring talking about the same thing over and over again, you know. Yeah. It, it gets very fucking tiring talking about the same thing. That's why I like our shows are so wide right. open. We could be anywhere. We could be at the strip club. Yep. We could be on the OnlyFans. Did did you guys hear what's what's gonna happen on April eighth in Austin? We're getting four hundred thousand people coming here for this damn solar eclipse. Okay. All right. Well, we're putting him in timeout for a minute. Nick, (laughs) start us off. Start us off with the because he's gonna bring us in a whole other goddamn conversation. Yeah. So Nick, start us off. Tip of the week. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Uh, Tip of the week, Nick. Okay, so, I mean, since everybody knows that I was deactivated, one of the biggest (laughs) ways that I was comfortable is because I have multiple sources of income. Now, it's not like what you guys think, but I have multiple apps that I can use. So, obviously, I have Lyft, I have Amazon, I'm signing up for Veho, I have Instacart, 
you know, I, I got a ton of apps. So I would recommend that everybody have something similar or at least a backup plan because these apps don't care about us. I, just so you know, I've done over 9,000 rides and I'm rated 4.97. So if that okay. means anything to you, it doesn't mean anything to Uber. I'm just a number. I'm an independent contractor. Mm. So. <laughs> it's good advice. You got you to gotta have, bro, you got to have. Oh, you got to have more than one app. Hold on. You got to have more That's, than one app. That is the All right, Omar, tip of the week. Let's go. It is. Uh, so I, my tip of the week is uh, it's very simple, tech-related. Uh, and two things, too. I, I disagree with the whole cherry-picking thing. You should still cherry-pick. I, 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 I may have to do my own show about it. Uh, also, <laughs> Mr. C saying buy puts. Dude, check the scoreboard. All-time highs. Buy puts. Stop it. It's, the market's gonna the market's gonna do what it wants to do. It's gonna keep running. Um, so everybody's phone has this accessibility feature, and I screenshot everything. We've been talking about this all night, and Vinny can tell you, even can tell you, I'll be on ride screenshot and stuff, on ride screenshot and stuff. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Just use the accessibility menu, and then there's a uh, usually a feature that allows you to have like an on screen menu, and in that on screen menu. It it can it gives you different options like you could turn the screen off you could go to the power menu you, you could you know touch you know do the volume again it's for people that that may have what you know any some whatever kind of uh, thing that they're dealing with and so it allows me when I'm driving or even if I'm not driving just sitting to not have to handle my phone I just sit there and tap twice reach out so just a little tip. A little, little pro hey, advice. Show me that. Like there's there's you different me ways. There are different apps that allow you to do different things. Obviously, I use Power, and there's I've talked about this before. Updating your third party apps, you know, you work smarter. And sometimes there are apps out there for different things, kind of like what Nick's talking about, to help you work smarter or even help you work a different job. But just you know, just again, use the tools that you have in front of you, and uh, and and also I screenshot things because. Before I get to the point of someone slamming my door or some of the things that you guys talk about with your $5 rides, what are you guys doing, by the way, with the $5 rides? Um, I screenshot and I go to my, and I think to myself, hmm, hmm. And then I'm pulling up and I, and I look at the screenshot again and I go, hmm. It, it, it just might save your life. That's all. Real quick. Quick tip. Okay. Appreciate that, Omar. <laughs> All right, Kerry, you there, buddy? Or are you sleeping? All right, Kerry, give us that tip of the week, bro. <laughs> I might be sleeping, bro. Off. He was laid back. He was like, oh. "Bro, I'm in my car right now, dog." I'm you like, got that bro. money, and he's done. <laughs> Yo, look, look, I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Look, tip of the week, tip of the week, bro. Lower your fucking standard and stop thinking you privileged, bro. If you got to do it, just do it, bro. Just do what you got to do, man. Make that money. Um, and um, take that Uber X that you didn't want to take. You better take it because you might know. It might give you a $10 tip. You know what I'm saying? And it might be worth it at the end of the day, bro. And I'm speaking from a position of, yeah, I got a lot of success in other places, but I'm talking about a regular Uber driver. If you take that Uber X, it might give you a $10 tip, might give you $4 tip, might give you $6 tip. And you don't want to leave that behind because what I've learned is the distance. You might take an Uber Comfort 10 minutes away, pay you $17. There'll be an Uber X one minute away, pay you $15, but they give you a $10 tip. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So You just never know. I agree with you. I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. You do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. I'm going to keep making everybody go. Um, Everybody, just do your thing, bro. Just keep doing your thing, bro. Yeah. Don't li don't right. don't listen to Omar, cause it, it, about not not lowering <laughs> your standards. Hey, hey, Everybody hey, broke, hey, and Omar on, on, is broke on. too. After I get that, after I got that shit, uh, got that um that boost this way, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> 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 All right, Eddie. Hey. Um, Yo, hey, hey, yeah. Vinny. At least for the day, we at rich, least for the bitch. day, bro. At least for nah, the day. listen, Carrie, <laughs> Carrie. You're wealthy beyond money, bro, and you know why. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right, Eddie. Eddie, I moved you up. 
You're next, bro. You're sending us yeah. square. Let's hey, go. Uh, I don't Tip know. of the week. Uh, everybody, everybody's got their own little uh, thing on the side. Um, I like uh, is it granny stuff. panties or a thong? Which one sells better on OnlyFans? But, I don't know. You kind of, you kind of <laughs> like the, you, you like the thong thing. So, the thong, the thong, thong, thong. That's right. <laughs> you know, Cisco days. Um, but yeah, uh, if you, if you got your gig on it, you know, work on your gig. Keep working on your gig. Don't take this uh, little extra money on the side like anything it's just you know they come and go uh i like day trading so that's why i do that all right just keep working on your pivot don't give it up and that's fuck it. brody all right steven hey what's going on guys so one of the i want to attach what i'm going to say to what omar said about screenshots um i've been saying this to the guys and asking them if they're experiencing rides becoming far longer than they estimate but take screenshots of that, of, of the ride when you first get it, especially with Uber. Um, send it over to Sergio. Who knows? This might turn into another situation where they're going to have to reimburse us. We don't know. But if you don't have any information, if you don't have any records, how are you supposed to know? Take a screenshot before the ride, uh, when you get the request, and then take a screenshot when the ride ends. Look at the, uh, the ride breakdown so you can see how much you drove, uh, the distance, and the time. And We'll see what we can do with that information. Not bad. That's that's a good idea. I, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, Mario, you are the newest guest on the Rideshare Garage, which means now you are officially a member of the Rideshare Garage. So, all right, cool. What, what do kind I do? of tip of the week you got? For like, us, yeah, oh, I gotta get a tip. tip of the week, man. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> well, you know, uh, listen. Guess... Hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Right. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Listen. He got four hundred. He got four twenty today. And now look at him. He's yeah, back bro. all laid oh. pulled the fuck out. He's 420. <laughs> He's got know, the, you know what? Got this is a little on, you know. Bro, making four hundred and twenty dollars <laughs> in one day. It's I like Elon would be proud too. For every street. Elon, luxury, Elon would be I proud. Mean, Elon would be proud. Uh, <sighs> did you see the roadster going uh, zero to sixty in one second? Uh, I saw that. Yeah, it I looks like that. a. Oh. Yeah. There was a video. It looks like a. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Um, All right. So go ahead. Tip of the day. I guess. Right. The, okay. Uh, my last two videos. I've been doing premier. I've been been trying to do premier rides. In South Beach. Uh, the underrated thing, bro. It just have a clean car, man. I go to that wash thing every day, bro. I I try to every day. If if you know if it doesn't need the. I want to invest in a vacuum for the vehicle for when I have to do right. it between rides. Generally, like when I'm lane. charging, I take one of those little wet, wet wipes and I wipe the back seat of the Tesla just to make sure it's clean back there, sit back there. Because, like I said, man, you you when you do the premier rides, these people are these people and they're paying you fairly now. So if you have a dirty car, it looks bad, man. And and I'm guilty of driving with a you know somewhat dirty car you know I, it was something you had to learn but um the more i clean my my car every day the more i saw the tips go up and everything mm -hmm. and you just feel good yeah just have of course. clean nobody clean wants to car. ride around in a dirty car except omar omar is the only yeah. guy who wants to ride around in a dirty car yeah well I see some Tesla rentals out there that I see some Tesla rentals. I want to hear it. Yeah. Oh, well, it's yeah, but it's not 5.0. I don't know what to say, man. I, I was watching. I don't know. I talk about watching, especially here in South Beach, these luxury hotels that people are staying at that I that I'm used to picking up. Then those places are immaculate, man, and they're paying money to stay there paying me more money to take them the same distance as one of these X rides. So, you know, you just got to kind of compete with level of luxury or service that they're paying for. You know, you're an extension of that hotel. Mm -hmm. The less or the freaking W hotel or the one that everybody stays out here. In the South Beach, the, the one. Uh, you pick up celebrities yep. there. You pick up, you know, 
Yeah, Fountain mm-hmm. Blue, all those. You're not wrong, brother. Luxury hotels. Preach. I, and, I, and I, you, I did you know what? Ride and, out, of the, out, of the, out of the one on, on Sunday morning to an airport. So I know. $100. To, yep. So a lot of Tesla rentals, because the, you know, let's face it, the, 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 the standards for renting these things out aren't too high, you know, and people who don't take care of these yep. Teslas and, and they have them all thrown to shit. They Did got you get the shit falling off of the door. Increasing it? Yeah, and, and then they and they pull up and you see you can see it's a white Tesla and you see the thin dirt in the back. Bro, that makes us look bad. The, the people the that clean their smoke. car. Then, because then, a, then that guy here, it's cheapening the Tesla. It's cheapening the thing, yeah. Because that guy, that guy gets a premiere, and then the guy who's willing to spend a little more says, "You know what? Why did I spend extra on this piece of shit car?" You know? Yeah. And then, then somebody who does put the effort gets the shred end because that guy now he stops becoming a premiere customer, and it's happening, man. There was a lot more premiere rides last year. Fair enough. Fair enough. Great advice. Make sure you keep your shit in tip top shape, man. Keep it clean. Let's get it. Let's get it and do it right. Absolutely. Okay. With that, guys, uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Um, we'll go over to the Discord, I guess, for a minute, bro. But it's like freaking midnight already. Yeah. And so I, yeah. I'm probably gonna skip out on the Discord tonight. Um, I agree. You know, be careful. Be smart. Get your money. Do what you got to do. Um, keep your nose clean as best you can. But, hey, ain't nobody here to tell anybody how to do things. We're just here to tell y'all how we do things. We're always oh, remembering. Yeah. <laughs> what works for us might not always work for you. Is that Brandon's pizza? Oh, uh, got him. Oh, <laughs> shit. Somebody actually printed that? Oh, <laughs> shit, no, it's, it's not Brandon's pizza. My wife made me pizza bagels. Damn, you know what? Man. You know what? Yo. You need to cut that out with that. Look. You know what? You're getting a little oh. cute with that. Hey, she, hey, oh, you know she, what? Steven don't even got to worry about it don't matter what Wendy's is charging. Look, Steven's eating real good at home, boy. Hey, she made what? this from scratch. That, that California UberX money doing good, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that LAUSD money doing good. That's what the... <laughs> All right. Well, listen, uh, I was told my soundboard's not working tonight. I'm going to try this. Tell me if you guys can hear this. Nope. 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 That nope. shit's broken. Yeah, something ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. Something going on. All right, Mario, appreciate you. I look forward to that text tomorrow. Thank Eddie, you, Vinny. I'll, I'll listen to you tomorrow. in the morning. Absolutely. Steven, I appreciate you, brother, as always. Nick, you know you're my man. Um, Eddie, you left me hanging in the trading room this morning. And I was in there. Omar, Omar says everybody's picking at me and making fun of me because I'm the only guy in that voice chat. I don't oh, know how Omar can tell that because I know his sorry ass is sleeping. But, you know, it oh. is what it is. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next week.